Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing on this Saturday evening? Hope all is well. Cup of coffee. FOC, the chat. Bruins are up 4 1 on the TV. I'm sorry, Cutter Historical. I know your beloved Maple Leafs are losing, but it's only game one, and the Bruins still have plenty of time to choke in the series. Ah, oh. let's see how everyone's doing. Let's say hello to our good friend Tim, Cleve Baseball Fan 879. Please check out that channel and subscribe. Uh, lots of Stratomatic Baseball on that channel. Card and Dice makes everything nice. Frank Wayne Scott. How you doing, Frank? How goes your son? Son or nephew? Is it your, your son, correct? Wrestling to try to get on the Olympic team in uh, Pennsylvania. Hope all is well there. Brian Hoxie, how you doing? As Brian says, I look forward so much to these chats. These chat streams, speak of the English, Al. Speak of the English. So fun. Thank you, thank you. We try to make them fun. Cutter Historical, sorry about the Maple Leafs. But there's more. There's so much time for the Bruins to choke, even if they take game one. Pesky Pole, how you doing, my friend? How goes 1986? Oh, my glasses are on crooked. Or is my head on crooked? I don't know. Probably both, right? But if your head's on crooked and your glasses are on cro crooked, wouldn't it be straight? I don't know. How goes 1986, our good friend Pesky Pole? And this is for you. Go Gamecocks. <laughs> D. Scott Howard, the goat whisperer. He's on the goat farm as we speak. Ah, oh, excuse me. Cleve Baseball Fan 879. Quadruple header of hockey tomorrow. Said this in RJL's chat. Game three of 2007 Strat World Series is in the can. Hoping to get the whole thing done while on staycation next week. Look forward to it. Larry Harris, how you doing? Hello, all, and let's go tribe. Going to the game tomorrow. Excellent. Hope you have great weather, Larry, and hope Cleveland wins. And uh, I assume you're going to the Cleveland game. What the hell are they called now? I know what they're called, the Guardians. Yeah, the Guardians. I still call them the Indians. N not to be offensive, I just like the name better. It fits. Oh, Bruins... Breaking out there on the power play, I do believe. Let's see if they get a garbage goal. Well, you know what? There's still 12 minutes to play. The game's not over yet. Toronto coming back up. Say, well, it's a flip in, not really a shot. Pesky pulled. 1986. So far, so good. Rice and Baylor are red hot. Awesome sauce. Pesky pole. It's always great to be a game cat. Pa pow <laughs> And Arnold Hunter, our good friend Arnold. When Arnold recruit, uh, speak of the English, shall speak of the English. When Arnold requests a chat, as I glance over, I thought the Bruins were going to score. We try to, you know, honor his requests. Your nephew. That's what I thought. So Frank Wayne Scott, his nephew, is trying to make the Olympic team in wrestling. He says, um, Gary Traub, hopefully I pronounced that right. Oh, he lost his he lost the first, won his second match, and lost the third. Great honor. One of 16 that was in the heavyweight division. It's absolutely awesome that he made it that far. That is awesome. Our good friend Sports Flicks, a.k.a. Mr. Wrestling 2, please check out and subscribe to that channel. If there's anyone who'd like to join the chat, send me, if you're on Facebook, send me a message and I will send you a link. Ten minutes of playing the Bruins game. 
sports flicks. As a huge Canes fan, I must say I love the Whalers cap. Love my Hartford Whalers. It's the only team I used to root for over the Bruins. <laughs> AKA the New England Whalers, AKA they started off their NHL career playing where? Springfield, Massachusetts Civic Center. Because why? The Hartford Civic Center's roof collapsed from snow. That is a fact. You're more than. Send me a message. And I will send you the link, RJL Network. Check out that wonderful channel. Game three of his World Series 1972 was up today. Well, he did it live. Um, I'll try to catch some of that stuff on review. And you can stop by and smack that like button for him and watch for a bit or watch for the whole thing and share it. Our good friend, RJL Network. Let's go to Facebook and see. No, no. So far. Frank Wayne Scott. Al, you got me playing my APA 1980 baseball again. Thanks. Oh, I love APA. We have game three coming up. Mets 1978 in our double day tournament. Best of five. And again, we might not show all the games. Probably won't. Maybe we will. But we're going to show all the Mets games between the Phillies and it's going to be Pat Zachary, Pat Zachary for the Mets taking on the lefty Jim Cott. Mets have a slight pitching advantage. You can see the C grade and then the Y modifier. I believe that's for control and uh, our strikeouts. Why would be strikeouts and Jim Cott coming to an end of a very good career D grade Z modifier. And that's for control. So, I'm loving my app of baseball. I don't regret the purchase. I don't regret regret the seasons I have bought. Most of my app, all of my app of baseball is from eBay. My football, some of it's from eBay, some of it's from the app of, uh, company itself. I'm looking at a few more things, but I want to start playing the stuff I have because I want to start playing the stuff I have. And that's kind of like a little subject here. When do you just start playing the stuff you have? I know we all love to get that new stuff. But my God, I am loving APA so much. I'm enjoying my Strat. Always enjoy my Strat baseball. I have Strat basketball over there. You should see the mess on this floor. Um, it's just, it's fun, you know, and I'm enjoying. I got the um, Action PC Football 2024. Waiting for that to be released. It, I pre-purchased that and we'll have that on the channel. And I think with that, we're going to do a 74 replay. We'll do a 74 replay. We have our 1978 and the theme of that year. Uh, Pro strategy football, our beloved Kansas city chiefs. I'm not going to spoil it, but we had a game this afternoon. Run, baby, run, run, baby, run. Mark Jones, Rolling Glory Days Boxing. We got to get that back on the channel. That's a really fun game. Who are you rolling, Mark? Mark makes his own cards for women's boxing. Can you send me, if it's okay, do you have a PDF set up? Because I'd like to make a few cards that Anthony has not made for fun. You know, I mean, goofy stuff. I like to make a Bugs Bunny card, a Crusher card an Elmer Fudd card, stuff like that, and some other boxers that I personally would like that no one else is interested in, like Dante Cane, Italian heavyweight, who got knocked out by Henry Cooper. Oh, here it is. He is rolling Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall. And these are cards that Mark has made. Mark does a fabulous job. He has made so many female boxing cards for Glory Days Boxing, and they're free. If you go to the Glory Days Boxing, Glory Days Sports Games Facebook group page, Glory Days Games, and the PDF is a free download. Brian Hoxie, a couple of play fellas organized a play day at a game store south of Milwaukee this coming Saturday. Super excited to be going. And that Keith Avalon is planning to be there too. Very nice company. 
Very nice man, Keith. Finner, 27. Says, good evening, Al. How goes Appa Baseball, my friend? Here's our good friend, Steve Tower. After further review with Steve Tower, please subscribe to that channel. Wonderful channel. Wonderful game presentation. Camera setup, magnificent. He says, let's go, Bruins. Probably the only team in Boston closest to winning a championship. They should take game one, Steve, but they need to win the series. We don't want any choke jobs this year. Finner, 27. Appa baseball is great game, and I'm, I'm tongue twisted tonight, today. I'm out of sorts, not to bring anyone down. My mom passed away six years ago this day. Late April is always, or mid April is always a not fun time with memories, you know, so. And I'm battling, I thought. I thought it was allergies, but it might be a little cold, too. We'll try this again. Thinner 27. Appa Baseball is a great game, and I very much enjoy it. It's wonderful. I love the basic game. I don't need to play advanced. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. But I don't need to. I have Strat for that. I love Appa the way it is. You know, it's awesome. You have a template. Cool. Cool. Thank you. If, if you can send it to me, that'd be awesome. I just want to make some, you know, Bugs Bunny, The Crusher, He-Man, goofy kind of stuff that I find amusing. Godzilla, King Kong, you know. <laughs> stuff I find that would be fun. Uh, Finner 27. History Maker Golf will be my next game, Al. Very fun game. I have it down here. Pardon me. I'm going to bend down. Hear my bones creak. We have to finish up our Masters Knockout Tournament, and we're going to do that very soon. We have our final group of four to get down to the – our final – is it final group of four? Yeah, final group of four to get down to our final four because we went 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. And they play nine holes, and the top player wins and moves on. So we got this right next to us. I do. This is the only mat I have next to my baseball mat. I do love this mat here. Play games are wonderful. I have cold snap still that I have to learn how to play, but I think it's not, I don't think it'll be too hard to pick up on. Got some Doug Flutie seasons. I'm enjoying Apple football. When we use, when we do play Apple football online, We'll do the four drive challenge, I think, because we can get everything in pretty much one setting, couple of hours. We would have had it in uh, two hours or just a little less, but YouTube the other day had the big hiccup. Larry Harris. Last week I was getting a couple of teams off payoff pitch, 1983 season, and seen I also had the 78 season, which I did not realize I had, but it's a good thing. 78 is very fun. After further review with Steve Tower, Cleveland missed a big chance to go back to the Spiders. They should have. The Guardians should have stuck with the Indians. Stop caving to the woke culture because they're nuts. <laughs> they're not sane. They're cuckoo in the membrane. You know, when I when I used to think of Cleveland Indians, I used to think of the Wild Sea and the the ugly but cool uniforms in the 70s remember those ugly uniforms i didn't think of anything bad the washington redskins i never thought of anything bad it's people who think too much who think of bad things they they overanalyze things that's why we're in the situation we're in okay i'm not going to get into any of those discussions you might not feel most people don't think the way i think Maybe you should. Maybe they should. I don't know. We'd be better off. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Stop being a-holes. Stop telling people how to live their lives. It's amazing to me that if you're a religious person, you get made fun of. But yet other things, you know, I don't know. This, this We're not going in the right direction with that stuff. Anyhow, enough of that crap. I don't know, folks. 
Think very carefully. Think very carefully how you vote. Can't keep going on this way. Can't. Sometimes you have to bite the bullet that you don't like. Think very carefully because we're going down the wrong way quickly. Uh, cool. Thank you very much, Mark. That's okay, Mark. I'll send you my email, buddy. I'll send you my email. But I appreciate that. Oops, click that off. All right, enough of that poop. Um, our good friend Michael Conestari, how you doing? Check out his wonderful channel. It is another replay guy, hooray. And if you want to know the joy and fun of History Maker Baseball, which is a fun game, Check out another replay guy, hooray, our good friend Michael Canastari. Mark Jones. Shields, TKO10, will check on Marshall's two roll. Roll to one. That fight is over. And that's Glory Days Boxing. Fabulous game. Frank Wayne Scott. Al. Atlanta and Michigan. I don't, I'm confused with that one, Frank, but I confuse easily. SGJ Jamie, if you, first of all, hello, hope all is well. If you buy too many seasons and games close together, it makes it hard to play any. You get brain freeze. This is true. This is true. Sports flicks. Baseball dislikes. Ghost Runners. I agree. Cleveland becomes the Guardians. I really agree. Cleve Baseball Fan 879. Bruins should easily take game one here. I think there's like, what's it, four or five minutes left? Uh, Popeye on Glory Days Boxing would be funny. Oh, that's a good one. I need to think of him. Popeye Bluto, right? Bugs Bunny, The Crusher, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd. Uh, ooh, what about what was the little rooster? Um, usually once in a while, and was actually probably only once, or the or the the Gamecock, the Fighting Bird, maybe. Um, Foghorn Leghorn cartoon. Every time he heard a bell, he'd punch somebody. We might make him. That could be fun. Have some fun with that. And I will make a few fighters I want. Again, just with my, my sort of rating them. Oh, Al, Alan Minter beat Kevin Finnegan by split decision rematch. Has been, has been seen already. Kevin Finnegan was not a bad fighter from the UK. Oh, Dave Gardner just got home from the concert. How was it, Dave? How was it? Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. It's, it's not about the team names. It's about the revolution. Absolutely. Absolutely. People, people, I'm telling you, please listen. Please, please, please listen. When you start breaking down tradition, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. When you start to rewrite history to BS mode, not a good thing. Not all history is wonderful. I get that. You learn from history. Please don't fall for it. Please, please. We can't go down this way anymore. Trust me. Trust me. Stick with Uncle Al. Bite the bullet. Do what you have to do. Can't go on this way with these guys running the country. And it's on both sides. But you're going to have to make choices. You have children. You have grandchildren. Think. Anyway, I agree with you totally, Uncle Dave. After further review with Steve Tower. And then we've got the new basketball game coming out from play. Spoilers. For Al's viewers, I'll be having a first look video coming out next week. Cool. Now that is a full, the one coming out, that's a full play basketball game, correct? Because the other one's highlight, 
highlights, right? Highlight maker hoops. Looking forward to that. Finner 27. Al, I also need to get back to my Stone Cold Hockey Tournament. Great game. I have to get back to my 1981 on the PC Stone Cold Hockey. That was fun. You just take a day and you play all the games because you can play all the games in Stone Cold Hockey and you can, uh, even if you stream it, you can do it in about an hour and a, an hour, you know. But again, you talk to the chat. Bruins, will, they're up 4-1, three minutes to play. They should take this game one over Toronto to the joy of Ron Juckett. Who's Ron Juckett rooting for here? In the chat, who is Ron Juckett rooting for here? The Bruins or the Maple Leafs or for both teams to lose? Another replay guy, hooray. Going to play event in Milwaukee next Thursday. Um, Brian Hoxie was just talking about that. Brian was just, you, you're going to meet Brian. Brian's going to be there. That's cool. You guys got to take pictures and put them up on the Facebook group page. Would love to see him. Going to knock off another baseball stadium when I see the Yankees and Brewers on Sunday. Awesome. Hope the – is that – do they have a roof in the in the Brewers stadium? I think they do, right? As a Red Sox fan, I will be a Brewers fan for that day. Absolutely. Open netter. 5-1 Bruins. Mark Jones. As a Cleveland baseball fan since 1979, I was hoping for Cleveland Buckeyes. That's not bad. That's not bad. I still like the Indians. That one's not bad. Which was a Negro League team. The Spiders would have been fine too. I would have been happy. Again, just my opinion. I like the Indians. Those two I like. I like the reasoning for that. That's cool. That's cool. If you wanted to change something, again, I did not find Indy. Again, I'm an Italian. I'm an American of Italian heritage. Thus the flags behind me, right? But I'm an American, right? I've been called all kinds of wonderful names. Believe me, I have. I've used some all kind wonderful names back in retaliation. Doesn't mean when I say something, I think that way about everybody. It's just about the jerk who said what they said to me, right? <laughs> but yeah, I like that. I like the Buckeyes, Spiders. Again, I would have stayed with the Indians, but th those are cool. Mike in the truck, how you doing? Hope all is well with you and your family. Doug Hunt, hello. Finner 27. Al, you should make the Looney Tunes kangaroo. Yes, that's a good one. I have something else, but I, I don't. I have um, someone in the Filsinger group, the wrestling game, um, made a really cool card creator that he shared for free. Um, and he makes cards. And why I've gone brain dead for a second and can't think of his name. He's a very nice person. I bought a card set PDF from him. I got the Golden Grams. Those are the only ones I really printed up. Um, I wanted those two wrestlers. Um, God, why can't I think of it? Um, Carl Zilla. Carl Zilla. He made this really cool app. And you can create your own wrestling cards, but you can put pictures on them. And that, if I could do that with... In other words, for a – let's pretend this is a Glory Days boxing card because I have them over there. So this would be the Glory Days boxing, you know, the card, how you play. And then on this side would be the pitcher. That would be fun, especially with the cartoon characters. I mean, I'm not selling them. And if I made them and someone wanted them, I would give them to them. Thus, you can't get sued. It's free. I guess. I don't know, but I would like to do that. So, uh, Mark Jones, if you, if you know, I wonder, because again, I have this other app that was created by Carl Zilla. And if you like the wrestling game, Carl Zilla has quote unquote, what they call bootleg sets, but he does a very nice job. And if you don't want to get them in the mail, which, and you want to get them PDF right away and you just print them up yourselves, you know, car. So check out Carl Zilla. And again, he has this wonderful, I wonder if I can bring that up. But what it does is you can create a wrestling card. In other words, you can have the wrestler, the photo here, the picture, and then, you know, the way you want your stats to go. I'd love to do that for Glory Days Boxing, some fun cards. You know, Godzilla, King Kong, 
in, but instead of a uh, Bruins one five one, but instead of you know you you could change up instead of like left or right, you get the leg sweep or something like the kick in the groin or something like that. Dave Gardner says I saw Lotus and Rush tribute, highly recommended. Cool. Michael Conisteri is enjoying that. So Dave had a good time at the concert. I do love, I have to say this, I do love the Toronto Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays, Toronto Maple Leafs uniforms. I hate, I'll tell you this, I hate that the Bruins, I don't like the Bruins home uniforms, too black. They should go back to the white home uniforms. That is, to be honest with you, they're quite ugly. There's too much black in those uniforms. At least go with yellow, sort of more yellow in the pants. But the Bruins win 5-1. Yay. Let's win the series now. Doug Hunt playing game one of Toronto versus Boston. Boston wins two to one with stone cold hockey. Bears Den 007 trying, try being half Polish growing up in the early seventies. That's tough kid. That's tough, but it made you who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of those jokes. Yep. You are correct. Bears Dent, 007. So the Bruins win 5-1. That's good. we got to close the show now. Doug Hunt playing Washington and the Rangers now. Stone Cold Hockey is a very fun game, whether tabletop or PC. The um, so again, if you've not listened to the new digital of dice, please check it out with Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett. And it's um, basically how you like to play your game, and it was a very, very interesting like, not so much the at well, you know, as played, do you cap what a player can do? Most PC games do kind of cap that you know, a little bit. Um, when I play my games, I don't cap anything, you know? Um, like in Stratomatic Baseball, if you're playing on the PC. Now, the beauty of card and dice, the beauty of card and dice is I, you can do whatever the hell you want. It's your game. So you can come up with tournaments. You can do all kinds of things. The, I, when I looked at the Mets, the 78 Mets who were horrible and the 78 Phillies who won the American League East, right? I'm the National League East. I'm sorry. And you start looking at the Apple cards and you're like, holy cow, the Mets have slightly better starting pitching. They really do. They have slightly better starting pitching. Craig Swan had a very good year. Didn't win a lot because the team stunk, but he had a very good year. So you have Swan at an A, and then you have three C pitchers. Because we're playing the best out of five, you have to use your four pitchers, and then you can go back to your number one if you go five games. Philadelphia has Carlton, who's a B, and uh, Christensen, who is a B. Interesting. So, spoiler alert, the series tied at one. Game one was phenomenal. Game two was close until the eighth, and then the Phillies poured it on. Holy crap, they kicked the hell out of them. But it was an interesting, fun game. Game three will be back in New York. Again, that doesn't really matter, except who's home and who's away in APA, which I kind of like. You know, it's built into the cards, how well a team and players will do. Uh, but so the Mets got their split. And Zachary and Cott coming up, Mets have a good chance of winning that game. Imagine if the Mets bump out the Phillies in the first round of the Double Day Cup. Jim L, our good friend Jim L, hope all is well. So how do you like to play your games? I like the what if factor. That's me. Even when I play, I'm playing 1976 right now, 1961, 1976, and 1991 in replay baseball. I play as played rosters. If you're on the roster that day, I get to use you the way I want to use you. Because my my enjoyment of playing my games is 
And again, it's not going to change history. It is kind of silly when people get bent out of shape on the way, whether I play a game or you play a game. Hey, play the game the way you want. If you don't like the way I'm playing the game or using the players, that's fine. But to get bent out of shape, you know, I always say this. If, you, if you're if you playing the Battle of the Little Bighorn, because I've played it a few times, are you going to do the same exact thing that Custard did? Guess what? When you do the same exact thing, which I did in my first playthrough, you get slaughtered. With hindsight, you play a little different, you can survive. You can't win. You're outgunned too much. But you can survive and, and, and limit the... Indians, a.k.a. the Native Americans, which really, how can they be Native Americans when there's no America? Again, that's... Um, you can limit yourself, you limit them to a minor victory, and they escape, which is fine. You know. It was kind of fun to play that. So that's my, when someone says, oh, you're playing it wrong, I always say, would you do the same thing and get scalped? Would you do the same thing Custer did? You shouldn't. Again, it's hindsight. They didn't know what they were running into. Boy, did they run into it. Back to the chat. Brian Hoxie. It looks like the weather here in Illinois is finally going to allow me to do some gaming out on the front porch this week. Oh, that's so much fun. I love gaming on the side porch with the windows open. You know, it's it's closed in, but you can have the windows open, fresh air. I tried gaming. I tried gaming uh, in the backyard on the table, and the wind blew and took every. This was a few years back, and stuff is flying all over the place. I went, yeah, bad idea. It's funny because God was God was funny that day. The wind was not blowing when I went out there, and then all of a sudden the wind picked up. But it's nice to it's nice to have a nice day, and you can game sort of outside if you have the time to do it when you're all done with the real world. Nothing wrong with our hobby. Our hobby is great. Jamel, I've been playing APA and strap baseball and also action P APC 2000, 2024. I think it means, do you mean action PC baseball plus OOTP 1974? I just started OOTP 1974. Because the Red Sox, they were in the race until late August, early September. They were actually in first place, and then they went. Whoop. So that's an interesting season. Do you bring up? Well, I'm playing as played lineups, but again, I can change up the rosters. So as soon as I can bring up Rice and Lynn, how much do I use them? That's going to be interesting. Finner twenty seven. Al, have you played Appa Golf or? Or ASG Golf. I'm looking at both. I have not played Appa Golf. Check out ID Gestures channel for that. ASG Golf on the PC. Check out Ron Juckett and Cutter Historical. I and for ASG Golf, if you want the PC version, there's a free download. And you can keep it forever. It gives you 10 golfers, eight golfers. I can't remember. One golf course. It's okay. It's not my thing. I love watching people play it who know how to play it because it's fun. Um, I do like my favorite golf game, not that I've played a lot of golf. I played action PC golf, which can be frustrating but fun. I always say it's fun. I've played a little bit ASG golf, the demo. It just doesn't click for me. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's me. It's me. It doesn't do it for me. Um, I enjoy Ron Juckett's videos. I enjoy Cutter Historical's videos. And for Appa Golf on the tabletop, check out ID Gesture. Check out, oh, God, who else plays that? I, I, I can, one of the Earls, Earl from Delaware, I think, plays Appa Golf, too, as well as History Maker Golf, I, I think. Highlight Heyday, how you feeling, my friend? Hope all is well. How's it going, my friend? He says, Brian, I think playing outside is fantastic. I don't do it often, but it, but it's always an enjoyable experience. It is. It is a very enjoyable experience. 
My name is Mud. Are you watching the boxing fights tonight, Al? No, I am not. I refuse to pay $70. Again, I pay for my fights. I don't have those things anymore, unfortunately. I wish I did. But um, Ryan Garcia and Haney should not be $70. I pay for the zone. I should get a little more of a break. It shouldn't be a. I looked at the fight card. None of those other fights interest me. Doesn't mean they're not good fights. They just didn't interest me. I think Haney's going to kick the crap out of um, Ryan Garcia. I think he's going to kick the crap out of him. I think Garcia can punch. Um, I think Garcia's a head case. I think Garcia can easily lose confidence. His last fight. Prior to the 10 round, boring decision. Oh, God, when he got stopped, I can't think of the fighter's name. It was a good fight. Garcia actually hurt his opponent. And then the guy just hit him with solid counter punches, and Garcia was getting was down. But Garcia is actually that that other fighter. And again, he escapes my name, and I'd have to look it up real quick. Um, He's also not as good as people think. He's good, but he's not as good as people think. Garcia hit him, and he didn't want to engage anymore. Which was smart, but um, but no, I'm not watching the fights. I think Haney destroys Garcia. I really do. And I could be wrong. It's boxing. I am looking forward to the fury Usyk fight. Very interesting to see if Fury is in shape physically and mentally. If he is, he should win that fight. Because Joshua in the second fight, and he did lose twice to Usyk. But in the second fight, when he put a little more pressure on Usyk, Usyk turtled, and if Tyson Fury has not gotten old all of a sudden, which is a possibility, right? Sometimes you walk in that ring and you're done. It's You're done. Can't turn back the hands of time. If Tyson Fury still has it, which I think he does, if he's in shape physically and mentally, and if he just watched a little bit of the second Anthony Joshua fight, which I know he did, I think he'll do a job on Usyk. Now, if he takes Usyk lightly, Usyk will box him, and it'll be a more difficult fight to win for Tyson Fury. Again, just my opinion. Jim L., the Braves were competitive. In 74, which one are we talking about, Jim L.? Which season? Bears Den 007. I haven't been playing my 1973 season Oh, Bears Den 007. Let's go back. I haven't been playing my 1973 season with historical lineups. I make the lineups with little help with the strat player rest chart. That's cool. That is fun. I like doing that stuff. I think it's fun. I like, again, I use rosters. I've played out seasons in OOTP. We play open world. And you make trades and stuff. I don't try to get ridiculous with the trades. That was fun with our 1960, one of my funnest replays, my 1960 Swan Song season using OOTP, a couple of different versions when, by the time I finished it. But that was fun. We made some minor trades. Anyone who's disgruntled, I traded. I was going to lose anyway. Let's get people who want to play for Boston. It was fun. Steve Towers says, let's go bees. Card and dice for the win. Absolutely. You can do whatever you want with card and dice. I, I have been enjoying. Okay. If I had, if I had a choice of playing PC or card and dice, I like playing card and dice. And then again, app is on my table, my little tabletop right here, right now. I'm really enjoying it. The app of baseball, the football, my strat is right here. I always have, I always have Mark Fidrich. When I get the itch, 76, roll it, just put Fidrich on the board, the card, and then we always have, I got to get my 68 Bob Gibson, this is 67 Bob Gibson, I always have this near my table, because these are teams I like to play, because of the players, of course we have the left arm of God, I don't have a Sandy Koufax baseball card, I have to get one. Always, this is on my tabletop. Um, this is recently on my tabletop. The 2018 Red Sox, phenomenal team. 67 Red Sox. And then 
I got to put these in the plastic bags, but we have the 49 Yankees and the 49 Red Sox. And what usually I do is I have these, I keep them close at hand, and then I look at my stuff down there and say, oh God, who, what would be interesting to play? And I play it. Don't always record it. That's the one thing. Like when you play a really good game, you're like, oh, I wish I recorded that. Just because sometimes I like listening over. Because that's the joy of it, right? Sharing. Even if you're just sharing with yourself. So let's put this over here. Kofax. I'm so happy to get this Mark Fidrich card a while back. It was like a couple of bucks on eBay. Pretty decent quality, but I'm so happy. Brian Hoxie, yep. Win and cards and dice don't mix well together. No. Whew. Then you go chase them all over the yard. 1974. Yes, the Braves were competitive. That's the fun thing I like to do in my replays. I like to take a team, usually a usually the Mets or the Red Sox in baseball. That wasn't so good, but it had some talent. And you see if you can play a little better. That's what I like to do, you know? Al, I watched Marco do his playthrough of Glory Days Football Pro Edition. That's another game that looks like fun. Different engine. Fun game. You can play it very quick. You can play quick play. You can play the moderate, the hybrid, where you, you get your drive to see if they're in the uh, – get into the opponent's territory. Then you take over play-by-play. -play. Um, or you can just play play-by-play. -play. The college football game's good. The pro game I like slightly better because it, it uses more of the Glory Days boxing mechanic. The only thing I – I like to call my own plays. So that's what I love about APA. If I want to give the ball to Jim Brown 38 times in a row, I can give the ball to Jim Brown 38 times in a row. I'm not going to do that, but I like to call my own plays. So, and APA, it's brilliant. APA is brilliant. It is brilliant. It really is. Glory Days, football, pro and college, excellent game, excellent for solo play, excellent if you want, you know, the dice calls everything. Um, I would like to probably be cool if Anthony came up with a version. And you have to remember, Anthony's a one-man company. I mean, his son helps him out a bit. And Anthony does mar marvelous work. The boxing game's phenomenal. To me, it's the best boxing game I've ever played, card and dice. Title bout's very good. I love it. I play it on the PC a lot. Legends of Boxing is very good. I play it on the PC a lot. I still have my original title bout back there. I've shown it before. Every, I haven't broken it out in a while. I should. Last time I played that was uh, last year, early last year. Fooled around with the match. Um, but uh, it, it it would be interesting. I, I like calling. I like to call my plays. That's the joy of it for me when playing football. Whether Appa. Whether Tarkenton football, I have Lombardi football, which is an offshoot of Tarkenton. I have everyday players football, which I have yet to play. I've looked at it, fooled around with it, and it plays very much similar to Tarkenton football. And I have Cold Snap down here, which should be a lot of fun. Let's check out Facebook. Okay, I just wanted to see if anyone wanted to join in. I got this Whaler's hat down at Mohican Sun. <laughs> I love the Whalers. My all-time favorite hockey team. I love Bobby Orr and the Bruins. Don't get me wrong, but um, when the Whalers came about, they were just fun. I don't know. Something. They were underdogs. They had good players, but not great players. And they had Gordy Howe. That was so cool. And he played with his th three sons. That was awesome. Finner 27. Whalers have the best logo ever. I like it. Steve Tower. 
Sox being just two games out of first is an aberration, but enjoy enjoy it while we can, Boston fans. Yeah, they've had a lot of injuries. They're pitching, the collision in the with the outfield and endeavors. It's going to be a tough season. Tough season, but you never know. That's why they play the games. Uh, Dave, Uncle Dave Garner. Al, I'm having trouble coming up with the season for football that has Brady in it. Help me out. Uh, two th you're pl I thought you were playing the 2004. You just played the um, – um, yeah, it was 2004, right? Not 2001. I have to think. You played the um, the snow game. Now I have to think. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let's go. Let's find out. I think it's 2004. Let me check. Let's slide this over here. Let's slide this over here. Football reference. Football reference. It's 2004, I'm pretty sure. Nope, nope, 2001, 2001, my faux pas, 2001, it's 2001. The Venetary field goal in the snow, then the Venetary kicks the game-winning field goal, 2001. 2004, they beat the Eagles. I've been looking at 2007 for APA. That could be fun. Again, I don't play the whole season, so again, you have to really, with APA football, because it is expensive, you better buy a season you're going to play quite a bit. I'm enjoying my all-time teams, but I kind of wish I had a season. And I have some playoff teams with my original APA set that I bought off eBay. My name is Mud. I don't like how Glory Days has limited drives. I much prefer the time games like APA in second season. Well, here's a solution with that if you do have Glory Days if you do have glory days and the drives can be a little confusing. What I do when I play glory days football, if it's eight drives per team, I mark off like eight quarters in a way, or, you know what I'm saying? And they each get a drive. And by the end it's done. I'm not doing splitting it in half. That drives me nuts. I know it's a stupid little thing in my mind. I don't, I don't like that part. You can just, you can play. You can, if you want to play a uh, play by play, Use the APA clock or whatever clock you want to use and play play-by-play. -play. I'm not a big fan of drives either. I got used to it, um, but it's different. It's a different way of thinking, you know. Jim L. says he was a WHA Birmingham Bulls fan. Bobby Hull also played for the Whalers only a few games with Gordie Howe. I remember watching the Whalers on Channel 30 out of Connecticut. When I, you know, I always lived in Mass, and it was special. You got like a Friday night hockey game, and it was the Whalers. And you got to see a couple other teams you that you normally – another team you normally didn't see. Again, you saw whoever the Bruins played. The Bruins were on – Dave Gardner knows this. He would probably have gotten them on 38. We got the satellite – not the satellite. We got the – I don't know how to put it. We got the 38 feet on a, on a relay station, I guess you would call it, channel 69. And then once the game was done, the station went off. That's how we watched the Red Sox a bit too. I used to listen to a lot of baseball on the radio, a lot of hockey on the radio, a lot of basketball on the radio. Cleve baseball fan, 2001 Tuck Rule Snow Game. Yeah, you're correct. 2004 was when they beat Philadelphia. As Uncle Dave says, he has 2001 looking for more Brady seasons. The two seasons, okay, here's my, not dilemma, but if I get another app of football season, and at some point I will, because I really don't have a season. I have great all-star teams up to 1982, and the, then the all-AFL teams, the original eight AFL teams, the best players, which is basically AFL 60s because that's all they existed. So they're kind of close to what they were. Um, you can't play the AFL against the NFL because the NFL is so rated so much higher. Uh, we did Patriots, Cowboys. Cowboys beat them. They, they end up covering the spread at the end. That was kind of funny because the Patriots 
missed the extra point, which pained me when Capaletti missed the extra point. Um, the seasons I am looking at, and I don't know if I'm getting them in the near future or at, or at all, because I want to play the stuff I have. Because at some point, we need to play the stuff we have, even though it's fun getting stuff in the mail. I'm looking at 74 because that's Jim Plunkett's probably best year with the Patriots record-wise. They went 7-7. Seven and seven. Should have made the playoffs. They pooped themselves down the stretch. Um, I'm looking at 76, one of my favorite Patriot teams. I have all the cards. I've shown you those before, the tops cards. And 2007. Now, if I get the 2007 season, I probably will pick up the Super Bowl teams for 1972. You know, the, the Dolphins and the Redskins, because I want to play the Dolphins versus the 2007 Patriots. Because that, that's fun to me. Finner, 27. Brady is 2001. Best the Rams. I love that Rams team, too. That's a fun team. Jamel, I have the 1972 NFL Appa season. Very cool. I keep checking eBay to try to get one cheap. The football seasons, they don't go cheap. <laughs> the ones that are up there, the cards are not in good shape. And again, as long as they're in okay shape, I don't care. Because I'm not going to play advanced. I, I'm, I like the, the basic game. I like the radio boards like I use for baseball. I have them for football. I don't want to, I don't like the book. I don't like flipping. I don't like it. <laughs> I guess I could get used to it, but when you, I like the charts. To me, the charts are easier. My name is Mud. I'd get the 2007 Super Bowl teams and see if you can get the Pats, that elusive win over the Giants. They don't offer that in APA, or I would. I would. We will be doing a replay of that on the channel. I think we're going to play three different games. I can actually do four because I'm pretty sure I have that for Strat PC football. We'll do um, – that would be interesting. We'll do uh, second and ten. We can do action PC football. We can do pro strategy football. And we can do stratomatic football. So that would be fun to see – if we can get wins in those four games, do I show them all on the channel? Maybe, probably. I don't know. I'm like a squirrel. My mind changes. Yes, Bob B. Roman Gabriel passed away. Highly recommend going to uh, Dave Volsky's channel, the uh, backdoor, you know, the football channel. Wonderful clips he's put up. Roman Gabriel, such a tough, good quarterback. Underrated, in my opinion. You have to see some of those hits those guys took in the 60s and the 70s. You know, here's another thing. How come no players' uniforms get dirty anymore? Can we get rid of that, whatever the turf is? Can we go back to grass and dirt? God, that made it fun. Let's see who's playing basketball. Not that I care. All right, let's see. Let's go back here. And let's find out. Let's see. Let's go here. I'm using the Xfinity app, all channels, live TV. If you want to save some money on your cable, you need to just have one cable box and then have smart TVs. Download the Xfinity app on your TV, and you can watch everything. I mean, that you pay for. So let's find out. I guess the basketball playoffs are on somewhere. Do they have hockey on TBS? That's right. They have hockey on TBS now. I forgot. Okay, Bruins are still in their uh, post game. Click, 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 click. Concaf Cup soccer. Spring football, USC. I guess people watch that. College spring practice games, basically. All right. At some point, I'll find basketball. Ooh, SpongeBob. I like SpongeBob. Oh, 
football. Let's watch a little bit of this. Playoff Central. Okay, so we can go here. Get a little United Football League. DC Defenders at the Birmingham Stallions. Let's see how many people. Let's see if we can count the people in the stands. Let's click watch. It's probably not live, though. Could be live. It says live. 18 to 17, a minute four left. There's 12 people in the stands. Here's the onside. Oh, they're kicking it away. Oh, DC's up. That's why. Okay, we have 59 seconds left. Uniforms are not that horrific. All right, we're going to watch a little bit of UFL. That's the XFL and USFL combined. Hockey was on TBS due to AEW. Man, AEW. I used to love watching that. No more Dan Housen on TV. No more Ethan Page. Those are guys I like to watch. No more Dalton Castle. I like, you know, I still like, they made Claudio Castanoli into a doofus just by not letting him, you know, he's doing jobs for people, for God's sakes. I still watch it a bit. I, I'll tell you this, the wrestling, the AEW style of wrestling, when they're not flippy flippy, is a lot better than WWE. WWE, I watched WrestleMania because the match I wanted to watch, Gunther and uh, Sami Zayn was outstanding. Phenomenal, old school type of match. Excellent flow. That was very well done. I enjoyed that. That's the way I like wrestling. WWE and those other matches, pace mega slow. Mega slow. The women's matches sucked. I don't care what anyone says. Those matches sucked. Unwatchable. Again, way too slow. When you have to take too much time to set up a move, don't do it. But uh, I wish AEW gets back on track. And I wish WWE gets to more away from the entertainment. Let's do some wrestling with the entertainment is cool. It's cool. Steve Tower. Dave Gardner, it's time to go to bed. Just pick up. Just pick a season between 2001 and 2018. Well, good night, Mr. Steve Tower. Bobby, AEW is the worst. No, I enjoy it. I've been to three live shows. The crowds have been good when I went. Um, they've just... When people say Dan Housen, I, I watch online, they go, Dan Housen wasn't over. What the hell were you watching? The fans love him. And you can have the gimmick wrestling. I don't mind it. They have too much Lucha Libre crap, and it's crap. It's gymnastics. I don't want to watch that. The, the art of wrestling is the illusion of the fight. Everyone who likes wrestling, who runs wrestling, needs to watch the Gunther, or Gunther, whatever his name is, in WWE, and the Sami Zayn wrestling match. That's wrestling. That was awesome. That's the way it should be done, in my opinion. Tony Khan needs to stop signing wrestlers that no one cares about. Whatever the Monet chick, she's horrible. She can't speak. Somehow she got popular in WWE. I've tried to watch some of her matches. You find them on YouTube. They suck. You know, bring back Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, and those other women. They can wrestle. JT 2.0, how you doing? Finner 27. I'm an old school ECW fan. Love watching the old stuff. ECW was intense. Again, they went overboard with the gore and blood. And in a weird way, did they ruin wrestling? I don't know. That's always a fun debate. It got me to watch again because I was like, what the hell are these guys doing? But in a weird way... Again, check out if you can, if you have, um, what's it called, Peacock? 
Go back to WrestleMania night one. Gunther and Sami Zayn. Or uh, uh, oh god, is it Sami Zayn? Is that his name? But the Gunther match. I'm sorry because I don't know. I like Gunther, and he basically is playing an old school World War II Nazi. Brilliantly, he has the two sidekicks. They don't come out and interfere in the match. There's no interference in the match. Great, logical. It was logical that match. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy Zane, right? Sammy Zane. Help me out here, Tim. Cleve Baseball Fan 879. Richard Atoni, how you doing? Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. The same to you and yours. My name is Mud. WWE bringing more color back into their show. Yes. That's the other thing AEW does way too much. Too much bleeding. Too much. I don't mind it, but don't do it every match. And here's another thing. When a big 300-pound dude power bombs the 190-pound guy through a table, match should be over. You should have the 190-pound dude, a.k.a. Hook. This goes back to the Samoa Joe match a few about a month ago, maybe over a month, which was a good match. But they didn't have the logic right at the end. Oh, my Lord. Birmingham scored. That was wild. They they got in field goal range. You got it. And there's like 72 people at the, in the stands. But they're enjoying it. Bobby, I watched Bulldog Brower versus Bruno San Martino, uh, Bruno San Martino on YouTube last night. Love classic wrestling. Oh, Bob, I watch a ton of classic wrestling. It's not all of it's good either. I'm not gonna lie, but most of it is my liking. Bob B. Tony Khan is the worst booker and storyteller. Uh, again, I have to give credit where credit is due. When they they like when they put, do it right, when they put two guys in or women in who can just wrestle. It's fun to watch. They need to get a little better with their storytelling. I'll give you an example. The whole devil thing. When Adam Cole screwed over MJF, that was fun. But now, what did you do with it? Nothing. I get it. MJF is hurt and gone, might be gone to the WWE. I don't know. Um, but Adam Cole should be on TV, even though if he can't wrestle, he should be doing promos every week. Come on. They don't get it. Spuds 25. Gunther and Sammy was a fantastic. Yes, it was. Yes, Spuds. I that I the only reason why I watched night one was to watch uh Gunther and Sammy. It was a wonderful match. Again, if you have Peacock and you like old school wrestling, check out that match. It was beautiful. It's everything wrestling should be. The storytelling, how I mean, it's wrestling. You can kind of figure out what's going to go on. But they had you in that suspense. And it was fun. I love that match. I love Gunther. I love Sammy. I'm going to watch a little more WWE. But every time I say that, I turn it on. They're doing stupid stuff. Here's what I would do for wrestling. You need to bring it. WWE needs to bring it more back like a quote-unquote sport. Continue your storytelling because you're you're pretty you're okay you're good with that, okay. But get away from the the pure stupidity, okay. That's where AEW goes wrong. They get the pure stupidity of it. They should really bring in someone who studied wrestling and the logic of a match, and you don't have to agree with Jim Cornette or or Al Snow all the time, or whoever, whatever old school wrestling you listen to or watch. Because you have to also appeal to the fans. But I think if you do wrestling right, it's still fun to watch. It's story. And then it's athleticism. Okay? I don't need to see a guy go through glass, a.k.a. Um, uh, oh, God. In AEW, not Luke, not uh, the Perry kid, not Jungle Boy, um, Darby Allen. That was a, the, everyone's like, oh, that Sting match was great. That match sucked. That match had no logic. That match was horrible. That match 
sucked, in my opinion. Uh, Sting's last match. Just let's do high spot after high spot. Let's uh, beat up the bad guy, the Young Bucks, on the way in. So you're telling me two guys who weigh about 180 pounds get their poop beat out of them by Sting's sons who go a good size, and they somehow can make a comeback. Come on. And then high spot after stupid stupidity. Ooh, a game from San Antonio now. Michigan. Oh, I don't like them. San Antonio's uniforms are ugly. Michigan have the old sort of Panthers uniforms. They're not bad. Where the hell is the NBA on? I want to watch a little of this football, though. Spuds 25. First time I think we've seen Spuds 25. I could be wrong. Uh, Spuds 25. ECW changed the game, but I agree it was too much and it never stopped. That's just me, Spuds. You know, um, I'm, I'm happy you agree with me. I like when people agree. I actually like when, if you don't agree, that you come to a consensus about something. Sami Zayn, thank you. The, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewatch that match. I enjoyed it so much when I have a chance. It was a beautiful match. That's wrestling. They told the story. It was awesome. And then everyone who's like, oh, my God, that guy Gable. I knew that guy Gable. And I never, I haven't watched WWE, WWE in a long time. I knew that guy Chad Gable was going to turn heel. It's easy. You could figure that out. I mean, they were basically doing Rocky, right? Except Apollo doesn't turn heel. It's you owe me a favor at the end. Whoa, that's great script writing there. You're doing Rocky, <laughs> which is a good story. You just brought it to wrestling. Sami Zayn. Thank you, Spuds. Bob B. NBA games are over. Nuggets beat Lakers last game of the day. Okay, thank you. Was watching some um, Valentine Brothers stuff last night, too. Yeah, the old school wrestling. Not all of it's good. That's where Jim Cornette goes wrong. I've watched some Jim Cornette stuff. He did goofy stuff. Go uh, goofy stuff? Goofy stuff. Goofy stuff, too. Now... Do I enjoy the Midnight Express? Hell yeah. Darby Allen. I was tongue-tied. Couldn't remember. It. Absolutely. He does. Now, is he a very good wrestler at what he does? Yeah. He just needs to tone it down. The other thing that stop that. It sucks. It's awful. It looks stupid. Don't do it. Hook, when he throws his punches to the body, he's what? Come on. Can someone tell him it looks stupid? Yeah, maybe he can beat me up. I'm freaking 54 years old. I probably could have gave him a run for his money back in the day, believe me, when I was in shape. And I'm not joking about that. I could do all that jujitsu crap. One kick in the nuts and a poke in the eye. Bye. <laughs> uh, Darby Allen. Again, did anyone see... Sting's last match. Tell me your opinion of it. All I kept reading, oh, how great it was. How I mean, not by the people. Like Jim Cornette thought it was stupid. I agree with him and a lot of other people. But I'm talking about like the modern fans of AEW, who I'm one of them. I have a bunch of AEW stuff. But you can't see it. I have a gazillion mugs and T-shirts because I enjoyed it so much. It brought me back to wrestling, the stuff I liked. Now... You couldn't work with CM Punk. Not that I agree with CM Punk. Okay. But you could have made money and you couldn't work with him. You know, people make fun of Kenny Omega. Omega was like, I would have worked with him. I like Kenny Omega. He does goofy stuff, but he can wrestle. People who say you can't wrestle, he can. But you have to reel him in. Here's the logic. Here's if I was doing wrestling. If I was doing wrestling, let's say Dave Gardner, we have Bob B. Okay, we're going to work a program. Tell me how you want to work this program. Let's bounce some ideas. Okay, I think this will work. I think let's do this for storytelling. But I want you to do it your way because you brought it up. And they're into it. The wrestlers are into it. And you could say, I don't think that's going to work. But let's see. And they're into it. Oh, the blackjack mulligan. Remember you used to, yeah, remember you crushed the apple? Remember you put the claw on the guy and the X would come over? That was cool. I love that stuff. 
Bob B. Sting's last match was awful. Absolutely. It was stupid. After further review with Steve Tower. Yeah, WWE has a finishing problem for sure. Get away from the false finishes. Here's my thing. You've ruined finishing moves. AEW is classic for that. 50,000 super kicks. I'll give you another thing. I was watching the, the Uso match versus Uso, right? I like the Usos. I watch them on occasions. I like R Roman Reigns. I, I, I enjoy Roman Reigns. Um, super kick after super kick. I was like, I thought I was watching the effing Young Bucks. I don't want to see that. It's stupid. It was stupid. Again, Gunther, Sami Zayn, fabulous match. Bob B, if you can watch it, I think you'll like it. Bob B, Darby Allen should be dead if that match was real. He might kill himself anyway. My wife cringes when we watch. He does stupid crap. Again, I hate ladder matches. They're the dumbest effing thing. Ladder matches suck. Get rid of them. I know people, ooh, ladder. It's stupid. It's stupid. Once in a while, fine. I can ignore it. Go make my sandwich. Come back in. Watch the end. It's stupid. The point The point in a match should be to win, right? Again, I understand it's scripted. But you're giving the illusion of an athletic contest. The point of an athletic contest is to win. So when the guy can go up the ladder but yet chooses not to because he's going to go on the ladder and then jump off and hit the guy on the table is asinine. Super kicks, you mean thigh high slapping over? Yes. Oh, God, Bob, I hate that. Stop with the slapping shit. When Chris Adams threw a super kick, I don't recall slapping. And if he did it, he did it so good you didn't see it. I hate the thigh slapping. AEW, get rid of it. Get rid of it. So San Antonio scored. God, those are ugly uniforms. Let's see. It's a run to the left, I think. Or is it a play action fake? Nope. Run to the left. They bit. They bit a little bit on the on the little play fake give, but it was good blocking. Looks like they're going to go for two. Interesting. Cleve baseball fan. FTR versus EP, EVP ladder match tomorrow. Jan. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not buying it. I have no interest in it. It, it. It's stupid. Why not have FTR and the and the Young Bucks wrestle and say, hey, let's not do 40,000 finishing moves because it's stupid. You got to get out of that indie crap mentality. It, it's not good. Not good. You're playing to a bigger audience. There's a reason why AEW doesn't get past their 850,000 anymore viewership. Because I don't watch anymore. I watch on occasions. I watch on replay. And I cherry pick the matches I want to watch. You've ruined Claudio Castanoli. You've made him a jobber. Congratulations, AEW. You ruined the Blackpool Combat Club. You made them jobbers. Don't get it. You should have ran a program with the House of Black and the Blackpool Combat Club a real program because that would have been fun, right? When uh, 10, Vance, who's a good wrestler, I can't think of his last name, Vance Preston, I think, when he made the little kid cry, you know, the son of um, Brody King, right? You could have the House of Black come out and say, hey, you make the bad guys a little likable here. Because the fans want to root for them anyway. Don't change them from bad guys or whatever. They still wrestle the way they want, but they go, that's a real dirtbag thing you did to that kid. You know how they do it. Because if you've ever watched them interact with their fans, I watched when they were doing an interview. And the th cool thing about the House of Black is when they come out to do an interview, they're dressed to the tees in suits. I like that. That's cool. They stay in character because it's part of the show, right? They're doing an interview. Dan Housen actually was doing the interview. It's kind of funny. But they saw there was a little kid, and he was scared. And they said, you don't need to be scared of us. They stayed in character. They said, do you like so-and-so? Well, I forgot what wrestler they were talking about. Well, he's the one who needs to be scared of us, not you. 
not you. So you you think AEW would have seen that, and you know that Malachi Black is an intelligent human being. You know that um, – oh, Jesus. It, not um, I might have got used the wrong Brody name, but the, the other Brody – Oh, shoot. Murphy and the big guy who I've escaped me. Anyway, the House of Black. They're all fairly intelligent when it comes to wrestling. You should have seen this. You should have seen how well Brody Lee. That's who it is. I'm sorry. Brody King is the other guy. Yes, I knew I used the wrong Brody once I said it again. Brody Lee's son. Thank you, Bears Den 007. Thank you. You should have used that, right? You should have used it. And then when Preston Vance, I think is his name, 10, who's a good wrestler, body, can wrestle, good, decent, good size. Um, and don't I'll get to that point in a second, how they don't know how to use big wrestlers in AEW. I mean, larger wrestlers. You could have used that. You could have had this little program, fun, interesting program between the House of Black and then... Oh, Preston Vance went with the the uh, Mexican cartel. You could have done that. And you could have said it's not cool. And the fans would have popped for it. I don't understand how they don't see that. I don't understand because that's cool. They want to root for the House of Black, but they don't want them to change. That's fine. I don't want them to change either. But, you know, you can have them come out. One thing that heels do wrong, in my opinion, like... Um, the machine, Brian Cage. He doesn't acknowledge his fans. That's stupid. Superstar Billy Graham, one of the best heels ever, acknowledged his fans. Even If someone was cheering him, he acknowledged them. That's smart. Back to the chats. Become wrestling chat. I like this. And we can chat about whatever you want. Uh, Spuds, 25. They just had a dark side of the ring on Chris Adams this past week. I missed it. Hoping to catch it at some point on replay. Me too. Very, very sad ending to Chris Adams. Pretty nice guy. Had the demon of alcohol. Uh, you got? Did you hear the story? Check out the story. You got to watch the uh, WCCW documentary. It's on YouTube. The, it's about two hours. I should, if I find it, I have it saved somewhere, but... Watch that documentary. They tell you the story of when Chris Adams is in Israel and what happens. Oh, my Lord. Cleve Baseball Fan 879, Spuds 25. I got roped into watching the Chris Colt Dark Side of the Ring episode after originally giving up on it. Glad I stuck through it. I got to check that one out, too. Bob B. Tonight on Collision, FTR did a spike pile driver on Okada, and he kicked out. So ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. I, I'm going to go back and watch that match. I'll enjoy it, most of it, because I like FTR. I like Okada. Uh, Don Callis is a great villain. I know people don't like him, but he's a great villain. But that's my point. You do a spike pile driver, match over. If you don't want Okada to get nailed with a spike pile driver, have someone come in and interfere, right? You know, break up the thing before it happens. I don't like that. That it makes wrestling, to me disappointing stop with the false finishes tim lavery how are you no kicking of extra oh i did not know that thank you tim so tim says in the uf at oh so they kicked gotcha thank you tim i didn't know that uh no kicking of extra points in this league go for two from the five yard line uh, from the two yard line five yard line or ten yard line one two or three points Oh, okay. So if you go from the two, you get one. If you go from the five, you get two. And the interesting, little interesting take on that. And again, yes, Brody Lee's son. Okada looks like a snooty waiter with a stick up his ass. That's funny. And Brody King is in the House of Black. Thank you, thank you. Our good friend, lower slower board gamer Chris. On my way to bed and saw your pretty face, so I wanted to say hello. Thank you very much, my friend. Hope all is well with you and your family and your loved ones. How's your brother? Hope all is well. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. So, but yeah, the um, 
there's a lot of interesting angles you can work. And again, I watched AEW, so I'm sure there's, if you're a WWE fan, you've thought up angles. Um, Michigan throws complete. They're about short two yards. They're saying a yard and a half. They're going to, they're going to punt near midfield. Okay. So that's kind of neat. I, I don't mind extra points, but that's a little interesting take on this. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We're watching a little UFL football to the left. Seven, nothing San Antonio. I don't like the San Antonio uniforms. They're ugly. Let's see if they fake it. Let's see if they fake it. No, nope, they're punting. I guess their kicker says he can kick a 70-yarder for Michigan. Touchback. Anyway, a little football to the left. Let's see what else is on. Let's go like this. I'm trying to remember how to use the Xfinity app. It does not work the same like a normal box. You can't have... I want to get to the NBA network and see what went on. I guess we got to go back. And uh, well, let's use the mic thingy. Technology is great, but it's a pain in the ass. NBA. Ooh, it worked. Okay. And let's go here. Oh, I don't think that's the um I don't think that's what I wanted. Nope. Nope. Back. Back where we started, started. Here we go round again. Who sang that song? Who sang that song? Awesome band. Let's see if you get that. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Let's go all channels. All right. After further review with Steve Tower, totally out of the blue comment, but the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust is the best alternative alternative album of all time. That's pretty cool. That is David Bowie, correct? You know what's a great... Uh, this is going to kill Steve Tower again. Uh, the uh, great album would be why does this happen to me? I just listened to it for God's sake. Oh God. Yeah, I'll think of it before I start naming songs and feel like an idiot because I can't remember the name. But uh the uh Ziggy Stardust, that was a unique time in uh, David Bowie's career. All right, I'm trying to find the – can't just punch the channel in. That's the only thing that stinks about the app. But other than that, you can save a lot of money by getting rid of boxes. you got to have one box still in the house, though. So how do you like to play your either card and dice or PC games for sports games? Do you like as played or do you like to do it your way? Do tell us in the chat as I try to find the NBA channel. Fleetwood Mac. That's the group. I always love Fleetwood Mac. I like Steely Dan, too. Steely Dan's a very interesting uh, band. They had the two regular guys all the time, and they mixed in other people. Jim L, as played for me. So you don't, you, Jim, you don't fool around with the lineups at all? I like to fool around with the lineups. I, I like to do as played rosters. Come on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Playoff Central. Okay. Let's watch it. Let's hear about the NBA. Then we'll go to NHL Central. I don't know if there's any more. There might be another hockey game tonight. We'll check it out. 
So Jim L says he fools around a little with the lineups. Uh, there's Jokic. Fourth career playoff game, 30 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. As the Denver Nuggets win. Thank you very much. Winning performance. Nicola. 32 points, 15 to 23 from the field, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Phenomenal player. Sports flicks. Your way gets instantly into the game. Yeah. I like to do it that way. Jim L. On eBay, Al, Apple Football, Apple Football 1972 player cards, uh, 74. Yeah. A new window tab. Yeah, $235. No. I like to steal stuff. I like it at $40 or $50. I've gotten a lot of good baseball seasons within very reasonable price. Sports Flix says, I like to sit guys struggling and play guys that click. Me too. Me too. The other thing is it's fun to look at the lineups when you're playing baseball. And I get it. We have hindsight, right? But at some point, like you're midway through the season and they're still trotting out that guy to hit third and fourth who stinks, you might want to drop them in the lineup. It always amazes me. Jim L., as he laughs at my, what I said about the uh, $235. Here's my point. If you're going to pay that, you might as well pay APA the uh, $122. Plus, like the 156, I think it is with shipping. You might as well, right? I mean, when I go to eBay, I want a deal. I don't mind someone making money, but come on. I don't really need the year the cards came out. I'm not collecting, I'm playing. So the Nuggets beat the Lakers 114, 103. Yay. Captain Communist LeBron James goes down. Yeah, I called him that because he is. Now, could LeBron James play in any era? Yeah, yeah, he could. Now, if LeBron James pulled some of the crap he does, A, they call traveling or carry in certain eras, and B, let's just go back, oh, to the bad boys of the Pistons in the late 80s, early 90s. They're going to make him pay when he comes to the hoop next time he pulls that nonsense. Captain Carl, how you doing? Hope all is well. He says, hi, Al and everyone in the chat. Just listening in a while at work. Hope work is going well, my friend. Stay safe. Steve Tower, after further review with Steve Tower. Another spoiler for your viewers, Al. I love these spoilers, Steve. Once you reach 20 years of marriage, everything goes out the window. We could have worse hobbies. We could have worse hobbies, my friends. Dave Little had a really fun wrestling card. Dave Little gets it right. Dave Little should start a wrestling, uh, a wrestling company. So check out Dave Little, Uncle Dave Little. Happy birthday to Dave Little and Dave Gardner. The Daves have a birthday on the same day. That's awesome sauce. God blessed us with two wonderful human beings, Dave Little and Dave Gardner. Thank you, God. And if you find God offensive, why? <laughs> Why? Anyhow, Bobby. Rick Rude passed away 25 years ago today. He was awesome. How about all those wrestlers from the same high school in Minnesota? That was, I saw that. Rude, Nikita Koloff, Hawk, Animal, Henning, uh, Darso. Darso would be, is he part of Demolition? And he played a Russian in NWA or A or um, AWA, right? Darso, he was part of Demolition, I think. Jamel, I was able to get a steal for me on eBay, ninety four dollars. It was in nineteen eighty two baseball cards. That's not a bad deal, especially if the shipping wasn't nuts. You got to watch that on eBay. The shipping, the, the people charge way too much for shipping. I think. Strat, cool. 
Yeah, because Strat doesn't offer a lot of seasons. Bobby, man, 25 years ago, really makes you appreciate out time here on the mortal coil. <laughs> Bobby, nice to see someone calling out the uh, POS, that's piece of poo, LeBron James, six, uh, sick of Bronny too. He's, he's an, he's, he is the biggest sellout. Pick your best LeBron James team, whatever it is. Put them against the 85, the, the Celtics, 85, 86, right? Put them against the Bulls with Jordan. Put them against the Pistons. Just, you know, after the Celtics have their run, the Pistons won two in a row. Put them against Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, um, Worthy, Cooper, uh, Jamal, uh, Rambis, the Lakers. Come on. Put them against San Antonio with, um, with um, oh, shoot, uh, David Robinson and... Uh, the uh, the one the Celtics thought they were going to get when Patino came. I went brain dead. Don't get old. Don't get old, folks. I can see him, and I can't think of his name. They're going to struggle. Here's another thing. I watched my friend Chris Anderson from work showed me a highlight. The guy took five steps and dunked. It's called traveling, and we counted. He took five steps. It's traveling. The officiating sucks in the NBA. Tim Duncan, thank God. <laughs> thank God our good friend from Thailand's here. Oh, my God. Check out Nourish by, uh, by History. He does what if bouts using title about PC2, and he did. the. Uh, it was Elmer Ray, right, and Ernie Shavers. You might not know who Elmer Ray is, and I, but... What's good about the boxing games I have, whether it's Glory Days Boxing, Legends of Boxing, PC, or Title Belt PC, sometimes I come across fighters. I'm like, I don't know who this is. I go look up stuff, just like a baseball player or something. But with boxing, I'm like, wow, who is this guy? You look at him like, wow, he never caught a break. Or, you know, uh, it, it is um, nourished by history. Our good friend Greg from Thailand. Check out that channel. If you have not subscribed, please go to it. Subscribe. Come back. But subscribe now. And check out that fight. He has he has knockout Nigel. Uh, he has like PC voices doing the fight. But it's fun. Knockout Nigel. I, I, I'm I guessing he does the, the script for knockout Nigel. Because it's really funny and it's fun. It makes it enjoyable. Then he plays some phenomenal music. He gives you, here's how it goes. He gives you a little boxing analysis on the upcoming fights or the state of boxing. So that's how it starts off. Then he goes to the bout. Again, it's a simulation for fun. Knockout, knockout Nigel calls it and he's bubbly. It's a fun stuff. Um, and then he ends with music. And it's, um, the music, again, I don't know the proper genre to put it in, but the music is soul. And it's very similar to um, James Brown, if you've ever listened to James Brown. And it's phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. Knockout Nigel's a real person. I believe it. I believe it. I believe in Bugs Bunny, too. Life was good when Bugs Bunny cartoons were on TV. I mean, it, not everything was peaches and cream, but it was better. Let's go back to the chat. I missed some stuff. Dave Little says, you're too kind. Thank you, sir. I am too. I am truthful, Uncle Dave Little. Captain Carly, Spuds25, there is a dark side of the ring on Chris Adams here on YouTube. It was uploaded a few days ago. I got to check that out. Awesome sauce. Thank you, Captain Carl. Brian Hoxie, LOL. I had a guy comment 
question on Facebook on why I was playing Ted Williams instead of Trish Speaker in one-off series I was playing. Well, it's game four, and Ted is six for 11 with three homers and 11 ribbies. Exactly. Here's here's something I that drives me a bit bonkers. I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it early on. When someone questions the way you play your game, just be quiet. Or you can say, oh, I would have done it this way. That's cool. Be polite about it. But when someone, you're playing it wrong. No, I'm playing it my way. You play it your way. Enjoy it your way. That's cool. And other people will enjoy it their way. I know. Sports flicks. I agree. Oh, okay. So he was demolition. Okay, cool. Uh, Dar, uh, shoot, what was his name? Darso. He gives some great interviews. They're fun to listen to. Though the two demolition guys give their interviews. Love those types of interviews. Bob B. Yes, Smash and Crusher Khrushchev. Dave Little. Demolition Smash Crusher Khrushchev Repo Man. Oh, I didn't like. That's when I stopped watching wrestling. But yeah, he was Repo Man and Black Top Bully. Oh, really? He had the mustache, right? With the derby hat? Or am I getting him mixed up? I... Captain Von Odin. Duncan. Thank you, Captain Von Odin. Nourished by history. Also said Duncan. I appreciate that. We got lots more comments. We're having a lot of fun on this chat. <clears throat> and again, you can thank Arnold Hunter. He said, let's do a chat tonight. And hopefully Arnold's still here. I'm running out of coffee. I need more coffee. I slept a lot yesterday and today. I, I didn't feel good. Sports Time Machine. Mr. Utah Mike says, good evening. Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. You welcome, Greg. Again, nourished by history. If you like boxing, if you like fun, here's the thing. I'll say it again, and I hope people don't take this the wrong way. Or take it whatever way you want. I don't give a poop. Greg has a wonderful channel. He knows boxing, in my opinion. So I enjoy listening to his opinions. I enjoy listening to his channel. There are other quote-unquote boxing channels. And I don't subscribe to them. So if I subscribe to them, I'm not talking about them. Everyone should be, if you want to make, you know, if, if, if they have uh, an ability to make some money on their channel, God bless them. I'm all for it. I've donated to many channels. I have, uh, and I'm all for that. I have clicked by other boxing channels that have much more viewership than myself or Nourished by History and other boxing channels that I subscribe to. And I laugh. I laugh. I don't know how they got all their, you know, God bless them. They're horrible. They don't know poop. They don't know poop. Some of them do, but most of them don't. And they're just out there for a money grab. They're out there for a money grab. Good for them. They're horrible. I, I you know, sometimes when I want to just see what's going on with a fight and they're doing a live thing, I just want to see what's going on without looking at the ESPN thing that takes forever to update. Um, but yeah, Nourished by History, fun channel. If you enjoy boxing, enjoy some good, again, I'll say soul music. I'm probably wrong with that. R&B, that's what I'm looking for. Rhythm and blues, soul music. Sort of like, again, my description of it would be, um, would be uh, I just said it and I forgot. But uh, like Motown-ish, it's great stuff. And he just had, I, I can't remember the group, but I was listening to it at work. It was great. It was after the fight. I love that. I love the way he does that. So. Jim L. For Al on eBay, 1974. Box acceptable condition. Cards, good condition. Pre-owned, $116.99. I might be able to get that cheaper. James Brown. It's like James Brown, the music. I knew it would come back to me. I need more coffee. 
After further review with Steve Tower, listen to Iron Maiden maybe with me. And again, our good friend Greg says, Knockout Nigel's a real person, LOL. I, I love Knockout Nigel. You have the other character too. He's okay, but Knockout Nigel's the best. The Tony Galento fight at the bar. I forgot who he was fighting. Oh, Andrew Galata and Tony Galento. My hair's a mess. But uh, that was fun. That's fun stuff. That's uh, that the bubbly. Soul Blue Jazz. Exactly. Bobby. NBA is ridiculous. Guys on offense travel all the time. Use their shoulder, shoulder shoulders to get defense uh, to get the defensive players off of them. Push. It's impossible to play defense. I agree. If you're going to let the guy do this and travel, you better let them play some defense. I'm just happy the Lakers lost. I, again, I don't like LeBron James. I don't. I don't like what he stands for. I don't like the NBA commissioner for what he stands for. Sports Time Machine just subscribed to Nourished by Nature. Cool. Thank you very much. Dave Gardner. I love what, what I love about Apple football is nobody questions how you play. They're happy you're playing and having fun. The Apple football community and baseball community that I have come across, I agree totally with Dave Gardner. They'll explain if something, okay, no, it's this way. You're doing it. You know, this is the way it should be done, but they're happy you're playing it. Some other gaming communities have some people who are a bit anal retentive and like to yell. Bobby, top hat was Big Bully Busick. Okay, different guys. Thank you. As they're laying the wrestling knowledge upon me, Dave Little. Black top bully was WCW. He fought Dustin Rhodes in the back. Oh, the pickup truck. And they got he got let go. He got let go and... Um, Eddie Graham's son, Michael, got fired because of that. There's a great story on YouTube with that. But Eric Bishop, and I don't like him either, did bring back. He told uh, he told him he was going to bring him back, um, and he did. So yeah, check out the interviews with Demolition. They're awesome. Mike Terranova, how goes how goes the pizza shop today? Hope all is well. Check out his channel and subscribe. Bob B says loved loved him in WCCW. People are saying hello to Mike. Sports Time Machine says hello. Mike says hello back. Bob B, best wrestling angle ever. Zabisco turning on Bruno, absolutely. Absolutely. That was, I remember watching that on TV, you know, the first little part of it, and he hits him with the chair when they're wrestling. They're supposed to have a scientific match. Nourished by history. Shoulder roll Steve is covering mud wrestling in New Zealand. That's an awesome line. That you 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 know, you have so much fun with your channel. It's okay. I always say this. I enjoy people who enjoy what they're doing. And it's a creative way that Greg, AKA nourished by nature, please check out and subscribe to his channel. Cause that's what I'm about. That's what the community is about growing the community. That means you grow channels, you grow your channel. Yeah, that's important, but you grow, you, tr you try to grow other people's channels too, because the community is important. I think we're the sanest people in the world. That's scary, isn't it? I bet we could solve a lot of problems by just talking and coming to a consensus, an agreement. Shocking, isn't it? 
But I enjoy people who enjoy what they do. And Greg has a fun channel. He's come up with some wonderful characters. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. It is brilliant. It's brilliant. After further review with Steve Tower. Steve, I thought you were going to bed. I'm glad you're still here. Cards on the table. Whatever 80s song you suggest right now. And especially if it's Dave David Bowie gets the full AFR approval. Okay. David Bowie song. Ironically, one of my favorite David Bowie songs is with Bing Crosby, who I don't really like Bing Crosby. Um, but it's Little Drummer Boy. It's from the 70s. You're not going to play that. Great song, mind you. Not a big Bing Crosby fan. Seems like he was an a-hole. Um, let's dance. I like that song. I like that song. And then with Queen, David Bowie, didn't they do Under Pressure? Under Pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Remember? Vanilla Ice. No, ours went this way. Dun, 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 dun. Nourished by history. By the way, I paid a lot of money on Fiverr for one of the voices on my show. It's fun. Also, uh, your knowledge of boxing is incredible. Um, and if people don't know, uh, Greg was a boxing reporter. Probably, I don't know if he did other, probably other sports too. And he's not a bad juggler. He's not a bad juggler. Mark Jones, I just rolled a game of Appa Baseball. The 95 Indians, yes, we said Indians because it's not offensive. Um, I always find people get offended by stuff that's really not offensive. And it's people who really get offended seem like they're really privileged, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Uh, Indians 394 Expos 2. Great, great team. The nine. That's a fun matchup there. Who pitched? Mark. Captain Carl 8. Thanks for the recommendation. I just subbed to Nourished by History Channel. Oh, it's fun, fun stuff, fun stuff. As uh, Greg says, thank you to Captain Carl 8. Mike Terranova. Thanks out. Pizza truck is going well. And it's filling up. Excellent. Brian Hawks. Yeah, I agree. Nothing better than watching someone do something they truly love. It's fun. China Girl. Yeah, that's a good David Bowie song. That's a good David Bowie song. I need more coffee. But I have to get up and get it. Oh, they just mentioned Captain Communist, LeBron James. Here's the thing. When you, I'm not going to get into it. Never mind. Never mind. Forget about it. Al's, Al's mean. Al's a mean person. Al's out of touch. Al's the F word. It ends in an ism, which I'm not. <laughs> Oh, God. Message is simple. Win. <laughs> Bobby, four horsemen, greatest wrestling faction ever. Almost 40 years, and they are still untouchable. My favorite was the original with Oli. Okay, so the original was Oli, Arn, or maybe I'm wrong. Was it Oli, Arn? No. Was it Oli? What's the other Anderson? Oli and the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, right? I can't think of the other Anderson. Them two, Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard. Was that the original? Mark Jones. Ken Hill for the Expos. Oral Hershiser for the Tribes. Oh, it was Oli, Arn, and Tully. Okay, and Flair. They were fun. When we got TBS, when we finally got cable, 
Um, and I was like, what's this? What type of wrestling is this? Cool. I liked it. I liked the WCCW though. When we were able to watch that on channel 20, that stuff was good. Not all of it. Cause not everything's always good. JJ Dillon was the manager. I remember that. That was fun. That was fun. That was probably, yeah. I'm trying to think of other wrestling factions. Um, they didn't have factions like that, really, right? That's the first that we had four. Based on the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, right? Sort of. What was another faction old school? I mean, you had tag teams with managers, but those weren't really factions. Uncle Dave Little. Yep, Arn just used the term Four Horsemen to describe the group in a random interview, and the phenomenon phenomenon was born it's amazing what sticks right again they're kind of using the the horseman of the apocalypse in a way sort of with that phrase in my opinion he could be he could be <laughs> i don't want to say that because they'll boot me off youtube <laughs> Anyway, it's very simple. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You might disagree with stuff, but be civil. Work it out. There's no civility. Got to be civil. After further review with Steve Tower, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. So get out. You sit and jump around. Jump around. Get up, get up, and get down. House of pain, right? Nourished by history. I am currently credentialed over here to cover one, which is MMA and Muay Thai. That's vicious. Is, is Muay Thai the Thai kickboxing? That's vicious. Hey, Greg, do you remember there was a Canadian kickboxer, middleweight which was which was really their middleweight in kickboxing was like a super middleweight like 165 if i remember right what would be a super middleweight in boxing and he could hit like a mule this is when espn used to show a lot of kickboxing and uh there was talk about him fighting Hagler. i mean Hagler probably would have beat him but boy if you fought that in canada you would have filled up a baseball stadium or a football stadium i poop you not i can't think of a guy he was a kickboxer middleweight but again in kickboxing the weights were a little higher than boxing i have to look it up but there was there, there was i remember there was talk back in the day to make him and Hagler, which would have been fun we could have had archie moore and uh, Yvonne Durrell all over again. Though this guy had a little more skill than Yvonne Durrell. If you want to see a great old fight, a rock'em sock'em robot fight, watch Yvonne, uh, Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, light heavyweight championship. It's on YouTube, the whole fight. Just watch it. It's phenomenal. That's up there with Lyle and Foreman. If you haven't seen... Lyle and Foreman, and you like Slugfest, watch that. If you have not seen Burt Cooper and Mike Moore for the WBO title, watch that. Slugfest. I'm trying to think of a few others that people might not have seen, but um, Archie Moore and Yvonne Durrell. Phenomenal. It's what you call fortitude, my friends. Sports Time Machine. I'm really digging the new bloodline with Solo. Looks like they eventually want to bring back Roman as a face. I like that. I think people want to root for Roman Reigns. They root for him now anyway. But when you bring him back as a face, he still has to do what he needs to do to win. In the script, I like Roman Reigns. He's battling some health issues. Wish him the best. God bless him. I think he's a phenomenal wrestler. I Again... Just get rid of, and again, it's not them. 
It's, it's what's written. The false finishes are horrible. His matches usually... The other thing I like to see with Roman Reigns, stop with these triple threat match. I hate those two. I hate triple threat matches. Once in a while is okay. Once in a while, a stupid ladder match. You know, once in a while. Nourished by nature, our good friend Greg. John Eves. Ter uh, Terrio or Terralt, I think. He was the kickboxing middleweight. I believe. Yes, that's him. That's him. Yeah, there was talk about him and Hagler. I wanted to see that. I think Hagler would have beat him, but that guy could hit. And it's not like uh, MMA. I mean, that guy could punch. We're an MMA striker. Yeah, they hit. I wouldn't want to get hit by them, mind you. But it's different than boxing. Kickboxing is boxing with your throwing kicks after. He was tough. Oh, man, he annihilated people in his prime. That was another one. That was a fun thing. Like, I'd be like, oh, John Eve is fighting. To me, it was must-see TV. And I wasn't the biggest kickboxing fan. I love boxing. Um, but it was just you watch it, and it was like, whoa. And he would get his kicks in because if I remember the rules right, you had to have, you had to have X amount of kicks by every two rounds or you get penalized a point. So he'd get his kicks in, and then he'd just beat the hell out of you boxing. Bob B. Before the Four Horsemen, there were managers. Remember WWF had Albano. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Lou Albano, the Grand Wizard, Freddie Blassie, and then the useless one, Arnold Skolin. Good guy, good guy managers are the worst. Gary Hart. Um, oh, if you want to see some good wrestling interviews, oh, God, he was in WCCW, bald head, managed the great Kabuki, managed Chris Adams when he went bad, when he turned heel. Gary, oh, Gary, is it Gary Brown? Great interviews. He passed away a while back. Yeah, they were the mouthpieces. Um but with the horsemen, they could talk. Well, if you've watched interviews, and I've read the book, the Superstar Billy Graham book, um, he didn't want to go with the Grand Wizard of Wrestling because he goes, I can talk. But then they came up with their spiel, you know, how he would unrobe. He'd be basically his valet. Midlife crisis. How are you doing? Hope all is well. Not since the four horsemen of the apocalypse have so few wreaked so much havoc on so many. And the name was born. Thank you very much. Tex Cobb. Yeah, that's right. I remember watching on ABC Wild World of Sports. I believe it was after he lost to Larry Holmes for the heavyweight championship, WBC. He had a shot at the kickboxing world title, and he, he lost that too. Yep. Randall Tex Cobb. Brian Hoxie, have you ever played the play wrestling games? No, I have not. I've watched people play them. I enjoy Filsinger Wrestling and um, Tom Vogel's Wrestling PC game. That's what I play. I also like, um, oh, God, Sports Sims Magazine's wrestling game which I can't, let me hold on a second. I will tell you the name in the moment. It is, that is it. Where is my file? We had that hell of a matchup between Dusty Rhodes and uh, um, Squared Circle. Thank you, Dave Little. Dusty Rhodes and um, Carrie Von Eric. Squared circles fun too. Again, play the games you like. I I think if I the next play game when I decide to buy a new game, I'm looking at the bowling. I'm weird that way. I I always like bowling. I watch bowling today. The guy with the big hair, he's great. I love him. And he's a great bowler. 
Uh, I enjoy the tennis game from play. I enjoy the golf game. Soccer, I have to play it more. I bought some stuff. I haven't broke it out yet. The all-time great World Cup type teams, national teams. So you get two Italy teams. You get two Argentina teams, two uh, Brazil teams, so on and so forth. I think Germany has two teams. But that's stuff I like. Is it Gary Hart? Okay, Gary Hart. Who's the mouse? Of the, I thought. I thought the mouth of the South. I thought that was. No, you're right. You're right. Gary Hart. Thank you. Thank you. I can't think of the other Gary now. And uh, Sports Time Machine says Gary Hart. Captain Carly, Brian, the 2015 set is all based on actual wrestlers. It's now available as a free PDF. Is that for play? Yeah, because I don't like fictional stuff. I'm not a big fictional person. I like to do my own thing with the wrestlers. Like I like to flip bad guys to good guys. I've teamed up Bruno San Martino and superstar Billy Graham a gazillion times. They never win, though. Steve Tower, Al, and everyone in the chat, keep rocking and playing those solo games, solo sports games, or with friends. Good night, Mr. Steve Tower. I think he's leaving us. Have a pleasant evening. God bless you and your family. So Brian Hoxie likes that the 2015 set is based on actual wrestlers. Bobby, do any wrestling games allow you to choose the wrestler's moves, or do they all rely on dice rolls? They all sort of rely on dice rolls. Phil Singer, you can sometimes make your own, like a, you can choose between something a little bit. But I mean, it's wrestling. You could, you could, you could homebrew that. You know, you could homebrew that. Like when someone's wrestling Andre the Giant in Phil Singer, it says, you know, if I don't think they could slam Andre, they're not going to slam Andre. It's going to be a drop kick or a missile kick to the leg or something, or, you know, a kick to the back of the knee, something like that. I try to make it logical. Yeah, Jimmy Hart was the mouth of the South. I'm talking about Jim. Oh, shoot. Gary. No, it's Gary Hart. Gotcha. Gotcha. That They had the same last name. That's what messed me up. Thank you, Bears Den. Jimmy Hart, mouth of the South. Gary Hart. Who, who, that's who I was thinking of. Great interviews. Pretty nice guy, too. Very logical in his think uh, wrestling. He passed away a while back. So update boxing, Ryan Garcia in Greg's eyes took round one, 10, nine. I picked Haney by knockout in that fight. I'm not a big Ryan Garcia fan. Originally I was, but he's, he has issues up here. I don't mean in a bad way. It just, he's strange. He's an odd duck. Sports time machine. As much as I love bowling, the Belmonte way of bowling with two hands is not using the holes of the ball. Gets on my nerves. Oh, but he's great. I love him. If I click by and bowling's on, I watch. And if he's on, I enjoy it even more. I enjoy bowling. There's something about bowling I like. I've liked it since I was a kid. I would watch it. Earl Anthony. Earl Anthony was on, right? Wide world of sports. Earl Anthony. And then in New England, we had candle pin, candle pin bowling. Jesus, it came on after wrestling. Candle pin bowling. That's the small ball. You get three rolls. Uh, it's unique to the New England area. The new And then the 2015 set based on actual wrestlers is for play. There's also a home brew set that has... Old school wrestlers, if you you can find that on the one of the play sites. They have Bruno. They don't call them their names, but down at the bottom, you can easily figure out who it is because they have the little initials and where they're from up top. So you can fit in the finishing moves. 
sports time machine. I play Rampage Wrestling, Lance Hafner's game, and you get a choice on what moves to pick and consequences if you make a mistake. That is fun. Haney wins a slow round 2-10-9. So see, I get my boxing update right here. That's awesome. By someone who's knowledgeable about boxing. Steve Tower just cannot go to sleep. He's still with us. That's awesome. He says, false finishes are terrible. They are the worst. Steve, how would you bring logic back to wrestling? And again, everyone, we know wrestling is scripted. So I understand that. But you want logic. Even with some over-the-top stuff, how do you bring logic back to wrestling? To me, it's pretty easy. But I guess AEW and WWE have a hard time figuring it out. We're getting our boxing updates on the Haney-Garcia fight from our good friend Greg from Thailand, nourished by history. Please check out and subscribe to that channel. He has it one round apiece. Garcia the first round, Haney the second. Brian Hoxie, I have very good feelings. You'll love the play bowling game. I've been thinking of getting it as well. Super easy to learn, quick way to do a tournament to get to the king of the hill. That's what I tell you. Play gives you the tournament style. I don't do their tournaments the way they want. But what I do is I love the golf game. I love the tennis game. I struggle at times with the baseball game, but do enjoy it. I struggle at times with the soccer game, but I haven't played it enough. I have cold snap. I'm hoping I, I enjoy it because if I enjoy cold snap, I might try out second season. You know. I love my Whalers cap, too. I love the Whalers. Yeah, so there's a couple of play games. But like I said, I want to start playing the stuff I have. Because it's a shame it's sitting here. So I, I've decided with 78, I'm going to play best of five tournament. And again, because you don't have in the right amount of teams for a true tournament, when we get down, we're playing the National League East region, as I call it. So you have six teams. So after you get done with your best of fives there, there's three teams left. I might stop the tournament, tournament, then do the West, get those three teams, play that out. You'll come down to three teams again. They'll wait. Then you do the American League. And again, I can be doing them all at once, some offline. And again, you're not going to have your final four because it's not going to be the right amount of teams. I'm still debating. Then when you get down to that, maybe you do a double elimination or triple elimination. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Boo. Good guy managers need to make a comeback. They need to do something if they bring him back. Here's the best thing. I'll tell you who's a kind of a fun manager. Stokely in AEW and ROH. He's a heel manager, and he manages two fan favorites. It's hilarious because he will cheat without them knowing it and help them win matches. That is good. That was brilliant. For AEW, uh, you take Stokely, who the fans love to hate. You put him because he has an infatuation with uh, Stratlander. And it was fun. It's fun. And wrestling should be fun. And you can have fun stuff in wrestling, too. And he doesn't like Willow, her partner. But he's because she likes Willow. He likes Willow now. And he'll cheat. He'll, he'll do things to help them win once in a while. And they're like, what did you do? He goes, oh, I didn't do, I, I didn't do nothing. And it's fun. So that was creative. You took Stokely, a heel, usually with heel factions, actually, and you put him with these two fan favorite women wrestlers who are pretty good wrestlers. I like them. And it makes for really fun chemistry with him and the audience because he's still a heel manager, but he's helping – the good guys win, or the faces, which is fun. That's I like that. That's fun. That's creative. 
Ryan Hoxie. I love that whatever way you choose to play their games, it works. Absolutely. Because I don't like to do the tournament thing the way they do it. And if you do, that's cool. I've watched many people do that, and it's fun. I, But, again, I like to play it my way. Hurricanes beat the Islanders game one today. The old Whalers. Nourished by history, our good friend Greg from Thailand. Remember to subscribe to that channel. Share that channel. I'm sure he'll uh, do the same for you. So grow everyone's channel. But he gives us the third round update. Haney wins third round. How is Haney looking? Is he starting to punish Garcia? Is he landing some hard shots? Again, I picked Haney by mid to late round stoppage. Bob B. I put together a 32-team double el elimination tournament, all seven-game series with strat jams. Oh, nice. I I have the 50s. I don't have the 60s because I have a lot of 60s season, but I, but I have the 70s and 80s starting tourney tomorrow. Nice. What's your first matchup, Bob? After further, further review with Steve Tower, Al, when are you going to a play event? I'm not a big fan of flying. I am flying this year because the family wants to go down to Disney. Other than that, I don't like to fly. I've only flown for business. Way back when, I had a job that used to send me to Florida twice a year. And I don't like flying. <laughs> Bobby, Nana. Swerves dumb dancing. Nana swerves dumb dancing is beyond annoying. Eh, it's amusing. I don't mind that stuff. Again, ultimate bad guy that they're they flip the face. I do like Stokely though. I like Stokely with Stratlander and Willow. I think it's great. Steve Tower boos me for not liking fiction fictional i'm not a big fictional person i like watching other people do it go new england i'm pissed they don't have that picture anymore we should have signed him we should have given him the money first matchup for bob b in his gems strat tournament which is which are teams from the gem sets 50 60 70s and 80s 56 Yankees, 85 Cardinals, Ford, Whitey Ford versus the lefty John Tudor. So lefty versus lefty. Haney wins round four. Pace is slowing down. Our good friend. Excuse me. That was a coffee minor belch. Pace slowing down. Bob B is going to get a boo from Steve Tower. He says, I don't like fictional either. LOL. Man, we've gone over two hours and 13 minutes. I hope Arnold Hunter has enjoyed this. Um, the Lakers coach is whining again. I can watch that all day. Um, that's got to be the toughest sport to coach if you're a head coach. Basketball. It's like babysitting. I feel bad for this coach. See, I coach those numb nuts. Anyhow, so we're going to go a little longer. I guess we'll go to 1. You want to go to 1 a.m.? I'm going to go until I get the results of the Haney fight in Garcia. Al, what is your favorite game? I have many favorite games, but right now I'm enjoying Apple baseball. I'm enjoying Apple football. Trying to figure out the best way to show that on the channel because I play it really slow, and then I talk to the chat on top of it. Um, so I think the four drive challenge is the best way to do that. I believe I can do it in one setting. I don't like to limit myself talking to the chat. If people take time out, this is just my opinion. If people, and, and, and I'm doing a live stream because that's what I normally 99.9% .9 of the time do, right? When people take time out to come to my stream and in the chat, I want to talk to them. So my streams go long. 
But I think the people who show up, and those are the people who support me. So I can't ignore them. That is not right, and that's not what I do. We enjoy it and have fun. If you want to see speed gameplay, I'm not the guy for you. If you want to come and have fun in the chat and be cordial and respectful to one another, then come have some fun. So I'm enjoying the APA. I always enjoy strat baseball. I've been I been playing offline my action PC 1970 replay my way with the Mets and the Red Sox. The Mets are in first place now. Half I think it's a half game ahead of Pittsburgh. Red Sox had gotten a little roll, not really a roll, but they win a few games. They lost in Baltimore, three close games. We showed, I think, two out of three on the channel. Um, they had dropped back to nearly nine back, but Baltimore finally playing a team that might – Oakland did a job on Baltimore. We've pulled back to within six. And it's Tony Canigliero's last year at the Red Sox. So it's fun to me. Pitching is not bad. We're hitting the ball really well. Um, and I, I enjoy – Oh, let's just get back. Sorry. I'll get to Bob Hoxie in a moment. Uh, I'm enjoying my pro strategy football. 1978 Kansas City Chiefs run, 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 run to daylight. We're 2-2. Two and two. Spoiler alert. We won today. Finally, not a close game. Though the close games are fun. We First two weeks, heartbreaking loss. Then we had our own miracle against the Giants in week three. We scored to tie the game. And then they threw an interception trying to get in field goal range. We get a big return, sets up Jan Stenerud, who boots it through. That was wild, wild and fun. Um, I've been playing some action PC football offline. Um, I like play golf. I like play tennis. I like those two really speak to me. I still struggle with the baseball. I enjoy it, though, and I, I want to learn it so much. I mean, you saw I took notes on it, and I like it. I play it. I have lots of sets. I need to start playing them. The soccer I want to enjoy, but I still struggle with it because it's a different way of thinking. Like I, someone say I, ro I roll too much. Like I'm not supposed to re-roll, so that's cool. I got to re-watch that one video I did because people left good comments to help me. Um, Glory Days Boxing I enjoy. I've been playing a lot of title about PC because at night it's easy to do. It's easy to click on the PC and play the game, and you still get a little feel of card and dice. And I'm not a big card flipper, so I enjoy the PC version of it. And Legends of Boxing, we had a really fun card there the other night. Hagler Hearns Relived. And a couple of really fun under card fights. Unbelievable. Brian Hoxie. What's pro what's a project you haven't finished that even though you hate, you haven't finished it. You just can't bring yourself to finish it. 1969 tournament. Down to five teams. And I, I know why. I hate pitchers hitting. I hate looking at a strat pitcher's hitting card. Now, people might say they might see stuff like when I've done um, History Maker, when I've done Pine Tar, where I used um, Don Drysdale 1965 card as the DH because he could hit that year, and it was fun. It was different. I do want to finish my 1969 tournament. And I might just bring in the DH. I just don't like the pitcher's hitting card. I don't like switching pinch hitters in. I don't mind it, but it just – and the tournament was fun. We were having a good time with it. it just – I need to finish that season because that was gifted to me, which was very kind of the person. So I have to finish that tournament. Um, my heavyweight tournament using title belt championship boxing tech space – I want to finish it, but the game, I almost want to rebuy the game and re-download it 
because I'd made the mistake of updating fighters and the person, who, you know, again, that's my fault. The person foobar, basically foobar the game. Everyone's a heavyweight and you got to figure out where to put them, which isn't bad, but, and then they kind of messed up when I did that. Some fighters disappeared like George Foreman moved from heavyweight to featherweight. I didn't touch that. So I kind of messed up my tournament. I mean, I can easily restart it, but lost interest in it. I kind of want to finish it. That's a fun game if you want to take an underdog fighter and try to fight him the right way or the way you want. Like, I've always wondered what would happen if, <clears throat> excuse me, if Tommy Hearns decided to box Hagler, not slug. Interesting to me. Bob B. I just got Strat basketball, but sucks because Strat doesn't have any old classic seasons. Uh, found some homebrew seasons from the 70s going to print those cards. Ooh, cool. I have Strat basketball. I picked up the Dirk Nowinski MVP. I picked up last year. We did a little, and I have an old 88-89. We did uh, Bird. Who was it? Bird against... I forgot who we did a one-on-one -on -one thing, which was a little interesting. I, I was trying to figure out how to play one-on-one. -on -one. We did a video on that. Got to tweak that some more. Haven't got back to it yet though. Our good friend, Greg from Thailand, giving us our Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, junior welterweight championship fight update. Greatly appreciate that. My friend, Greg, please check out and subscribe his, to his channel. Nourished by history. Haney wins round five. It is really slowing down, he says. Steve Tower. Al, you'll enjoy anything from play. Well, the ones I enjoy the most, golf and tennis. It's the easiest for me to understand. I still foobar some of the rules and people tell me, but I play it my way. And I don't like making mistakes. And sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, but. Baseball, I still a little struggle with, but I enjoy it. I like the unique system. I like it. It's fun. Now with baseball, I don't do all the weather checks and all that. That I don't care. I want good weather. I'm not doing rainouts. Um, I'm not. I don't do the weather checks. Once in a while, I do. When I do that, I do it for the whole series. And if it's sucky weather, I usually make it nice weather anyway. I don't do. I very rarely do the perks. Again, I just want to play. The one thing with the play baseball game, and it's not a lot. It doesn't take long. It's just I'm not used to it. I don't want to do pregame rolls. I want to set up my lineups and play. I love the play engine. And you're still getting what you need to get. So I really don't do that part. Um, I like the hot-cold thing, but I do it logically. Who had a bad game? They're cold. Who played well? They're hot. That's the way I do it. I do roll most of the time for if they're happy or not. That's the way I call it. Happy or pissed off. So I do that. Um, soccer blast is fun. I have not. I have not played it enough. And I need to because I like soccer and I like the engine the way they do it. I guess I rolled to You're not supposed to re-roll. I have to go back and watch that video. Some people left some real helpful comments, but I have to watch it. I need to put it back on the table, probably in the cellar so I can spread everything out and use my Kindle or my laptop probably. Laptop would be better. And re-watch that video and read the comments um, that were left on the page because they were very helpful. Bowling looks fun to me because I enjoy I have another bowling game. It is called Six Pack Bowling. I picked up the PDF cheap. I fool around with that on um, Excel. But I don't know how to score bowling well. My wife Teresa is a good bowler was trying to explain it to me. I sort of get it, but I don't. So I need a bowling app for scoring. <laughs> or I'll score it my way. <laughs> I did it my way. Larry 
Mullen says, love the hat out. Thank you very much. How are you doing, Larry? Bobby, I didn't realize the 77 Red Sox had four players. Oh, they were awesome. They were awesome. That is a fun – that 77 team is right up there with 1950 Red Sox team. They could hit the bejesus out of the ball. Now, the 50 team scored more runs. They scored 1,000 or just over. I don't think the 77 team made it to 1,000. Those teams could hit. They needed that one more pitcher. In 77, they needed Fergie, Fergie Jenkins to have an over 500 record. They slumped badly. And they came back to make it a race, but the Yankees won that. Um, the Orioles were in that race too, I think. But they could hit. Uh, Butch Hobson batted ninth. He had 30 homers. And I think he was just under 100 ribbies. I think the 100 ribbies were, I think Yastrzemski. God, why can't I remember it? Yastrzemski, Rice. I don't think Lynn had the 100 ribbies. Because he was hurt a bit early. Maybe Hobson did have 100 ribbies. Scott had 100. With Scott Scott must have had 100 or high 90s. Boxing update from Greg in Thailand. Nourished by history. Please subscribe to that channel. Garcia doing a lot of clinching, but did throw a nice flurry in the sixth. Garcia threw a great left in the First, that stun Haney. Garcia probably won the six, but barely. Garcia's got power. Mark Jones. They have a forum for the title bout game. Steve's still trying to get me to go to Denver. Maybe someday. If I do, I'll bring Nurse Teresa. Oh, no. So Garcia's power comes through in the seventh. He knocks down Haney. Haney is hurt. This, wow, he's going to, I'm going to eat crow. Garcia seems on the verge of knocking out Haney. Uh, nourished by nature says Haney is in big trouble. Haney's in big trouble. Nourished by history, our good friend Greg. This is getting serious now. The ref is. The ref did take a point away from Garcia for hitting on the break. Garcia's left hook is real. He can pop. And, uh, again, I forgot the fighter he fought when he lost his first fight. Um, but he had that guy hurt. Then the guy wanted nothing to do with exchanges, which was smart. And then Garcia got caught on a counter. Um, so Garcia could pull off. I, to me, this would be an upset. Larry Mullins, I have a Whalers Expos and Houston Oilers stickers on the back of my truck. I am not living in the past or anything. It's okay to live a little bit in the past. We got to take care of what we have to do in the present. Adulting is hard. <laughs> Nourished by history. This is, oh, I already said that. I forgot I skipped to that. So I'm looking forward to see. Ryan Garcia, oh boy, Haney, well, maybe Haney's not the real deal. Again, I said Haney was not as good as he thought, just like the other fighter that Garcia lost to was not as good as he thinks. Captain Carl comes through in the clutch. Yaz, Hobson, Rice, and Fisk, Fisk had the 100 ribbies. So Scott had 90-something then. Scott had high 90s or low 90s. 1977 was Yaz's last real good season. Yep. That team could that team could hit. That team could hit. Go into the water now. Though I prefer the coffee. Brian Hoxie. We still have 15 people, and it's almost 2 in the morning. Thank you very much for the people who have joined in the chat, who have watched who are still here. I mean, Steve Tower must have had a lot of coffee because he's still here. I love to see you create your own card for play bowling and take on the greats. I'd be really bad. Nurse Teresa is a good bowler. Nurse Teresa is a good bowler. But I do like bowling. 
I watch it. I always, I, it's not like I, I stumble across it. I end up sitting there and then in between I rush to make popcorn because I enjoy it. I like the competition. That's why I always stop and watch tennis every once in a while and golf. Sports, I, again, bowling, I always watched. Tennis, Mac and Roe brought me to that. And I watch. I don't watch sports like I used to. The team sports are starting to get annoying to me because it's not really about winning, it seems. I mean, football, yeah, they're bigger, stronger, blah, 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 blah. But the, 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 there's no weather games anymore. Their uniforms don't get dirty. You know? I don't know. They, I still enjoy football. That's the sport I watch the most. Well, no, boxing. Boxing is a sport I still watch the most. Um, basketball, I follow it, but it's more like when I was a kid, I read it in the box scores and stuff. And I don't even do a lot of that. I just I follow it. I want to know who's doing well team-wise. Hockey, same thing. I just want to know who's doing well team-wise. Hockey is very interesting to me, though, because when the playoffs start, I can watch any two teams. It doesn't matter. It's just so intense, you know. Baseball, I still love the Red Sox, but I don't watch them all the time. I just, did they win? I read the article. I look at the box scores. You know? I mean, I just, when I go to sports, I just want to watch sports. And I think, in my opinion, just like late night talk shows, I don't watch them anymore. They think they're the smartest people on earth. They're not. If you disagree with them, you're stupid or you're mean or you're this or you're that or you're bad. What? Jimmy Kimball. I remember the man show, Jimmy. You're pretty much a hypocrite. Um, they're all hypocrites. I mean, we're all hypocrites, but they're mega hypocrites. So when I watch sports, I want to watch sports. Don't tell me how to live my life. I'm not hurting anybody. We go to work, right? We pay our bills, right? Pay taxes. They don't use my tax money correctly. I'm not going to get into that. You can't even close the borders to people who don't belong here. It's called an executive order, numbnuts. An executive order. I know I was around politics a lot. Believe me or not, worked on many a campaign, know many a, know a few people who I actually consider leaders still, not uh, BS politicians. You take an oath of office. Your first duty is to the country. Anyhow. Brian says you could fudge the ratings. That's no fun. That's like me doing a golf card. Now, if I did a golf card, I'd have a pretty good drive rating. Because you can make your own card in Action PC. That's kind of fun. You can make your own golfer. Putting? Mm, not bad, but not good. So let's say it's slightly below average putting. The short game, god awful. <laughs> I couldn't chip to save my life. Now, I could bump and run with a seven iron, you know, but the pitching wedge, oh, my God. Yuck. Brian Hoxie. IMO hockey is the closest to the game I remember watching as a kid. Every other main sport has made too many rule changes. In my Okay. Brian Hoxie. In my opinion, in Brian's opinion, hockey is still closest to the game. I agree to that. Mark Jones gives us an update. Haney's legs are gone. I'm going to eat crow. Ryan Garcia looks like he's going to knock him out, I guess. What are we in the um, eighth or ninth by now? Bombers, duffers, hackers, semi-rust. That's me. <laughs> Bomber, duffer. Hacker, semi-rust. 
that would be me. With an exception, I could bump and run okay. Again, I used to take a seven iron. If you don't, what I call bump and run, and you just kind of lift it a little bit off the ground and you let it bump, 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 bump. That I was okay at. You can't do that on every hole, though. You have to be in a certain spot. If I could get a good drive and I could hit the ball far, I was in shape when I was younger, a M- little more girth to me, and I could murder the, f- I could murder the golf ball. Sometimes I didn't know where it was going, but I could hit the ball f- ball far. And then if I could, when I played smart, I just take out that five iron because I could hit the five iron pretty good. If I could go, driver five iron. And then bumping around with a seven iron on like a par five, I was okay. If I had to do something besides that, I was in a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, semi master. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I was that. I, I don't think I was that good of a bumping runner. I wasn't bad though. Brian Hoxie, but also not saying you're old, but an icon. I'll take that. I might need the icon. Okay? And that's fun about play games. You can make your own card. Play games gives you the ability to make your own teams. You know? I would love, I would love to see Steve Tower, if you're just if you're still with us on your coffee high. Talk to Keith Avalon if you can. Love to see a horse racing game. I think they can do it. You know, three sort of roles or four um, out of the, you know, out of the box. Uh, first turn, second turn, whatever, down the stretch kind of thing. And they're off, you know, a roll for on and then and they're off. And then for the turns, right? And then down the stretch. I think it I I think play would do it marvelously. And it would be a fun horse racing game. And you can have an all-time great horse racing set of horses. No fictional horses, please. Or you can have fictional horses. Actually, I probably wouldn't mind fictional horses, but I want you know, I want Secretariat. I want Ali Dard and Affirm. Affirm and Ali Dard. If you have not seen Affirm and Ali Dard in the, in the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness and the Belmont, watch those races on YouTube. Incredible. Affirm and Ali Dard. They have, you can find, I think they raced, shoot. Seven times, but you could find all their races on YouTube and someone had put them all together. And it's like 20 minutes if it's that. And you can watch all the races. It's phenomenal. Alley Dart affirmed. Alley Dart affirmed. Down the stretch they come. It's a fabulous sporting event. So we are... After 1 a.m., I'm waiting for my Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia update from either our good friend, Nourished by History, Greg, or Mark Jones. Brian Hoxie, I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised someone hasn't found a way to do horse racing using the game engine they use for their stock car racing. I think you can actually... I think my favorite game engine, to be honest, my two favorite game engines from play, golf and tennis. They could even do boxing. And again, the boxing would be, you know, how much they break a round out in traits. But if I had to pick one or the other, because I do have Glory Days boxing and a gazillion boxers, and I enjoy that immensely, um... I would pick horse racing. I, I'd like to see them do both. And I think they can do horse racing really well. Um, I, 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 it's, not, it's, it's not that hard. I'm not saying about the ratings, but I mean, 
and they're off. So you get to your initial roll, right? They come out of the gate. They're off, right? Out of the gate, roll one, right? So they have a rating, how quick they start. And, uh, and with the storytelling, like, oh, a horse could break. A horse could get stuck behind someone, could get pinned in. A jockey could foobar a move. Just the storytelling and how they do it in golf, you know. They could use the golf engine for God's sakes and adapt it to horse racing. I don't, I've never played red. I've watched red, white, and blue racing. I don't really know the engine because I just watch and enjoy someone enjoying it and listening. Um, but I, you probably could adapt the, I would assume you could adapt the stock car racing to horse racing. But again, horse racing's quick. You want to kind of simulate the quickness of horse racing. And again, when you play a tabletop game, it takes time, no matter what game. Football games take a long time. But if you're enjoying it, it doesn't matter. I don't care how long APA takes for me. I enjoy it. So horse racing to me would be, and again, it depends how many horses. I like to do a lot of challenge races, anywhere from two to four horses. You know, so again, so if you had a full field at the Kentucky Derby, say, you're talking what, 10, 12 horses, it's going to take you a little bit because you're rolling for each horse. Um, but I think it would be, you could even do, you could even do three rolls out of the gate in the turns or the furloughs or whatever you want to call them, furlongs, excuse me. And then down the stretch, three rolls. And you could do more. It doesn't matter because they're quick. You roll and you look. I don't think you need multiple kind of charts. You would need a chart for a dry track a, or a fast track, a slow track, a muddy track. You know, I, I guess those could be your columns or whatever. Mark Jones Haney down again in the 11th. Ryan Garcia is taking it to him. Thank you to Mark Jones and Nourished by Nature. I greatly appreciate the updates on the fight. What better What better way than enjoying a ticker tape message for the fights than with your friends in the FOC? Brian Hoxie, part of what I wanted played to do games they have it is we know it would be so fun to play are you talking about the horse racing because i butchered your statement because i'm gonna go back and read it in the best english i can possible part of the want of wanting play to do games they have it is we oh i got it is we know they can do it yes Haney down again is he down three times in one round or third time in the fight? Third time in the fight, right? Wow. Ryan Garcia's power is winning the day. Uh, okay. That's going to be a nice win for Ryan Garcia. He's putting up and he's making Haney shut up. Brian Hoxie. Sorry to go on. No, I like talking about play games. I like talking about anything. I talk about anything. This is chat with Al. We talk about everything. Some point I like to have guests back on. <laughs> but you know who's the guests? Everyone in the FOC who pops in the chat leaves a comment because we read them all, don't we? Or pretty much all of them. I might miss a few here and there. I, I just I would love to get a play horse racing game. You could do season sets. And again, they're business people, right? So they have to... Is it going to make money for them? That's what they're about. They put out, I have to be honest, they put out a good product, in my opinion, at a reasonable price. At a reasonable price. And they're very nice. Keith Avalon is a very nice person. I've not met him, but he's very nice. You know, I had a set come to me and I didn't get the umpires with it. I just sent an email politely saying, I don't know if the umpires are supposed to still come with the game. It was a, a special set, the what if 
um, baseball league, the Continental League, which is kind of fictional, right, with real players. I enjoy that. Um, and I said, it's no big deal. I just was curious if the umpires still come with the set. I can use the other umpires. And they sent me the thing at no charge. They apologized, which they didn't have to. They're, um, I like play. They're very polite and nice. They're, they, I, I'll say it. I, they understand customer service. Three knockdowns in the fight. Thank you, Mark Jones. The ref took a point from Garcia earlier for hitting on the break. Yes, I did know that. Um, it goes to a decision. Well, three knockdowns to me wins the fight, point or no point deduction. How many points did they deduct from Garcia? One or two, though. This could be a weirdo draw. I'm sensing a bad draw here. But three knockdowns, those are 10 8 rounds. A point deduction still makes it a 9 8 round. I think the knockdown, I think the point, I think, was it two points? We await the decision. And then chat with Al will come possibly to an end. This is fun. I'm having a good time. All right. I've had enough of, let's go back to the football game. Ryan Garcia, majority decision. Is that your opinion or is that the, the judges, Mark? So I believe Ryan Garcia has won a majority decision. I eat crow. I thought Haney was going to stop him. Haney gets the power of Garcia is real. Now it looks like he had his head on straight for this fight. Um, good win for Ryan Garcia. Bob B. Which boxing game were you talking about where you can take an underdog to the title? It would be title bout championship boxing. It's PC. And it's text-based with some animation. I've done videos on it before. We did Joey Maxim against Sugar Ray Robinson. Where we, oh, no, no. We did Joey Maxim against uh, Jake LaMotta for the light heavyweight championship. It never happened. But we fought, because I'm not a big Jake LaMotta fan. Pretty much was an a-hole of a human being. I mean, I guess he changed later on. But it's tough for me to root for an a-hole of a human being. Um And uh, you can pick the strategy. You can, and it's thirteen dollars. It used to be put out by Out of the Ballpark. You can still go to the site if you type in "title about championship boxing." The site's still up, and it's thirteen dollars. It's phenomenal. You get thousands upon thousands of boxers, and if you like to make boxing cards, it's a great. It is a great reference because. That's a Jim Trunzo game. He worked on that game too. Title about championship boxing. Mark Jones with the judges scorecards. 114-110 Garcia. 115-109 Garcia. 112-112. That's wow. I can't see the draw there from what I was reading. Mark Jones. I rate the fighters for the title about championship game. Do you have that game, Mark? Title about championship boxing, the tech space with the little animation. Here's my wish. I would love to see Glory Days Boxing go to PC. I would love the PC version. You roll your dice if you want. And I would love to see two little guys smack each other after the roll of the dice because that would be phenomenal. That would be phenomenal. So you see the engine and then you see the visual. That would be phenomenal. For $13, Bob, I suggest give it a chance. Go back. I have videos. I haven't done. I'll do one in the near future because I was thinking about doing um, Tommy Hearns, Marvin Hagler, but I would control Hearns. I usually like to take the fighter that's most likely to lose. And uh, I was able to get, uh, I did 12 rounds, Dwayne Bobbitt, Ken Norton years ago. And Norton still won a decision. But I was able to fight Bobic a certain way that he wouldn't get knocked out. I had Bobic sort of be an aggressive counterpuncher. I put him in counterpunch mode, which again is not his forte. But I was trying to figure a way 
that he could catch Kenny Norton coming in and then finish him off with his, he had a good right hand till he had that, he had an injury to his back or his neck or something that took the power away from his right hand. Um, oh, you used to rate fighters in that game. Cool. I misunderstood you. That's a fun game, Mark. And again, it's a Jim Trunzo game, so it's well done. It's tight about championship boxing 2.5 or something. Bob, um, oh, there's Bob right there. Bob, again, I don't tell people to spend money. If you like boxing, you like boxing games, to me for $13, and, and again, you can load photos in, you can create fighters, you can update your fighters. Um, it's well worth it. It has the little animation with the two guys hitting each other. Mark, is there a way to put, I would love to put different fighter animations. I mean, different, like you have a white fighter and a black fighter. I would like different, at least it'd be cool to put different trunk colors on them or different versions of those fighters. They both look like Klitschko, the white guys, and the, we'll say black guys. Um, I use the term white, so I'll use the term black. They look like either Marvin Hagler or Ernie Shavers. You don't think there is. Oh, that'd be, that'd be so cool. I love that game. There was talk about updating that game about 10 years ago, probably eight years ago. Well, we're in 2024. Yeah, more like 10 years ago. Um, so, but I think the gentleman passed away and he was very nice. I actually sent a few emails. I can't remember his name. He was a very nice person. And if he did pass away, I apologize. He used to reply back. Bobby, you were talking about interviews. Tommy Morrison's wife has a recent interview on YouTube. Really interesting. I'll have to try to catch that. Thank you. Mark Jones, the current owner is from England, and he hasn't really updated the game in a decade. Yeah, it's too bad. It's a good game. So my wish with Glory Days Boxing, and I've tried to find, with Anthony's permission, a programmer. It's not easy. A couple of times we thought we had someone. Like I would say, hey, communicate with Anthony. They did, and then nothing happens. Um, you know, for Glory Days Boxing, obviously we you want to be able to roll your own dice, right? But the good thing about a PC game, it's a quick setup. Um, you want to also have the ability to have the PC roll the dice for you. You want to follow the engine, which to me, Glory Days Boxing is a brilliant engine. It flows to me. It flows. Um, and then the other wish list, and, and again, probably make it more expensive if they could do it. You roll the dice. Think of Strap Baseball PC, except better, meaning you'd actually see the movement. You roll the dice, you see the ball go. Okay, now let's expand that. Let's talk about let's let's say if it was like out of the ballpark, right? And they had sort of an open engine. Let's pretend they a game like out of the ballpark, similar to out of the ballpark. You have an open engine. You rolled your dice. It's a ground ball to second. You see the batter hit the ball. You see the second baseman field the ball, and you see the throw to first. Um, there's a gentleman on Apple Football, and I got that channel wrong. It's last name of the person's channel his name is i think it's giordano but it's apple football and he had a brilliant interview with someone and the person said i would love to see in a computer game the card and dice type of game where you roll the dice and then you see it played out so you know the result but you're just seeing it played out visually that is the next level of gaming to me it's brilliant I've been thinking about that forever. I don't know how to do it because I'm not a programmer. 
and I'm sure it would add cost. The, the animation doesn't have to be outstanding. It just has to be, put it this way. I'll use title belt championship boxing. Imagine, now title belt is a card flipping game. Imagine you flip the cards now, right? Right? And then you see the visual of what happens. Right? So imagine that little animation with title belt championship boxing. Take it with title belt two on the PC where it's flipping the card. It says two points, but it's a jab right hand. And you'd see the jab in the right hand. And you see the guy's head go like that. How marvelous would that be? Again, is it cost effective? Because in the end, whether a big gaming company or a single owner gaming company, you got to sort of make a profit. You can't lose money. Uh, form for title bout. Mark, can you send me a link through Facebook? I don't go to forums too much. Um, well, it is 1.19 a.m. We have gone two hours and 56 minutes. We still have 17 people watching. If you're watching, feel free to jump in the chat. Thank you, Mark. And I, I will give you an email address to send if you're able to the ability to, to make Glory Days boxing cards. Again, I'm not going to do anything that Anthony would do. I, I want to make Dante Cane some few other Italian heavyweights from some few other European heavyweights that I find interesting. They're not going to be any good. I mean, like maybe four stars. So Dante Cane got knocked out by Henry Cooper. So I can't make him better than Henry Cooper. That's the way how I judge things. But I, I he had a decent punch. Um, and more, I just like to make some cartoon, like Bugs Bunny and, you know, like Popeye. That was a good one someone mentioned. Bluto. Fun stuff, you know. Because that's what gaming's about, having fun. Whether on the tabletop, on the PC, whether sports games, military games, zombie games. Everyone loves when I play zombie games. No, they don't. I do. I have fun. I'm going to bring one to the channel soon. It's a tower defense. And you can watch me get slaughtered. It's fun, though. Ah, oh, my God. They keep showing. Did anyone besides LA play tonight? It's the same press conference. Let's just sh shut that. Ah. Oh. I might watch a Charlie Chan movie before I go to bed and make a bowl of popcorn. I love those old Charlie Chan movies. The detective ones. You wouldn't make those movies nowadays. Um, I guess they're offensive. I don't know. I like the old Sherlock Holmes movies too. They're fun. I like old movies in general. You know what? Hockey playoffs start. What movie am I going to watch? What movie am myself and Nurse Teresa going to watch because hockey playoffs have started? Bob B., have you ever played TV Pro Wrestling from Downey Games? No, I have not, but you know who has? Pops Reviews, our good friend from Canada. Check out that channel and subscribe. He has a couple of videos of that up on his channel. Oh, Mark Jones says Cleveland won. Cleveland Cavaliers won tonight. Mark Jones, you are correct. Slap shot. We're going to be watching. Maybe we'll watch it tomorrow. I don't know. Ow, my back is itchy. All right. Well, I think Arnold Hunter, this chat was for you. He says, I just purchased uh, play action football, only have a couple of seasons. Play action football. Do you mean action PC football, Mark? I've never heard of play action football. How is it? Is that a Downey game? What channel? For Charlie Chan, you mean? Oh, you just type in on YouTube Charlie Chan, and they come up. 
or you type in Sherlock Holmes. Best Sherlock Holmes with um, uh, Basil Rathbone is the uh, Scarlet Claw. Very good. That's my favorite. Brian Hoxie, I just found a video from four years ago with Keith demoing a play horse racing game he was working on, so I guess there is hope. Ooh, cool. Oh, Pops Review. Pops Review. Um, I don't know if it let, let me hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it, my friend. I'm sorry, I misinterpreted what you said. All right. Let's go to YouTube and history. It's fine. I could type it in too, but because smaller channels are tougher to find in the search. I was watching, he did a roller derby. The other day, I was listening and watching a little bit because I listen mostly to YouTube. And, of course, I can't find it now. All right, let's type in um, Pops Review. And there we go. Okay. And here we go. Copy. Paste. Pops review. Ooh. Let's do Nourished by History. Now that I know I can do that, before it didn't let you do that, I'm going through StreamYard. So... There's a couple of things I like to share with you guys, if you don't mind. And uh, we, oh, this is this is phenomenal. This was um, a lot of fun. And uh, I had to quickly shut that down because music started to play. This is Nourished by History. Actually, let's do it this way. This is a very fun channel, and I highly recommend Elmer Ray versus Ernie Shavers. It's, it's, it's just it's like a, a radio show. You're not going to get any visual, but it's phenomenal. Knockout Nigel's hilarious, and it's well done. It's our good friend Greg's channel, Nourished by History. Brian Hoxie, Game Lab, Lightning Round 2, Play Space Live. On Play's YouTube channel about five minutes into the video, if you're interested. Okay. And let's get, um, if you haven't watched Dave Little's wrestling, which was really fun, and it always is. Every Saturday, Dave Little has wrestling. And that's Phil Singer Games. God, I almost had music go again. Okay. Let's get to the wrestling. Where is it? I just had it. There it is. Okay. This is Dave Little's Heartland Championship Wrestling. I guess it's Sunday morning now, so it's yesterday. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. So this is, uh, this last one's Dave Little's Heartland Championship Wrestling. Um, this, the one prior to that was Nourished by History, Greg's channel. And uh, I have to be careful that no music plays. I'm going to put up one more thing. It was a tribute to Roman Gabriel. And that comes from Dave Volsky's Back Door. It's very good. So this is a tribute, Roman Gabriel, brought to you by Dave Volsky's back door. And let me close that down. Oh, and if you're interested in, I might as well get the title about championship boxing site title about championship boxing video game. Here it is. All right. And in a few moments, we're going to call it a stream. We've gone over three hours. Um, Arnold had City at a game. And again, we all, if you enjoy these chats, thank Arnold Hunter as he motivated me to have one tonight into early Sunday morning. He says, I just bought play action football, only have a couple of seasons. So I think I think that's a downy game. I think. I don't know. But we're gonna say our good nights and good mornings. And I'm gonna go make a bowl of popcorn and watch an old movie before I hit the hay. I like to thank Mark Jones. Thank you for the updates on the boxing match. Greatly appreciate it. I like to thank Brian Hoxie. Bob B, Arnold Hunter, we might not get to everyone. It was a lively, fun chat with many participating, and that's what makes these chats with the community fun. Captain Carl, thank you. Nourished by history, a good friend, good friend Greg from Thailand. Larry Mullins, thank you. After further review with Steve Tower, thank you. Sports Time Machine, thank you. David Little, thank you. Midlife Crisis, thank you. Mike Terranova, thank you. Uncle Dave Gardner, thank you. Jim L., thank you, my friend. Captain Von Odin, thank you. Sports Flicks, a.k.a. Mr. Wrestling, thank you. Check out his wonderful channel and subscribe. Lower Slower Board Gamer, our good friend Chris from Delaware. Thank you. Cleave Baseball Fan 879 is going to be finishing up his World Series project using Stratomatic Baseball Card and Dice. Bears Den 007, thank you. Tim Lavery, thank you. Spuds 25, thank you. My Name is Mud, thank you. Finner27, thank you. Richard Atoni, thank you. JT2.0, thank you. Doug Hunt, thank you.
highlight heyday. Thank you and best wishes and prayers to your continued good health. Keep fighting, my friend. Another replay guy, hooray, our good friend Michael Conestari. Please subscribe to that channel. Mike in the truck, thank you. And SGJ Jamie, thank you. Frank Wayne Scott, thank you. I don't know how much farther. Oh, RJL Network, our good friend Robert was here. I forgot about that. It's been so long. Thank you, thank you. Pesky Pole. Again, this chat was brought to you by Arnold Hunter. Thank you. Again, Larry Harris, thank you. D. Scott Howard, the Goat Whisperer from the Goat Farm, thank you. Cutter Historical, thank you. Sorry about your Maple Leafs losing to the Bruins. Check out his wonderful channel. And that is all. All righty. Oh. Clayton Parks joins us at the end. The good Admiral. How are you doing, my friend? Evening just got done tossing 13 innings. Highlanders 4-3 victory. The Highlanders were uh, New York, right? All right. Well, thank you for sharing that, Clinton. I guess Clinton gets the last word. Awesome sauce. Mark Jones says, great stream. Appreciate that, Mark. All right. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the stream and we had fun, we had quite a few people watching and uh, we still have 10, but I'm tired and I want to watch that old movie and have a bowl of popcorn and then hit the hay. Um, thank you. You guys make it possible. Once again, thank you to Arnold Hunter for suggesting the chat tonight. These are fun chats. We speak our minds. I speak my mind. We do it cordially, politely, and we have fun. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. If you, again, enjoyed the stream, smack that like button. If you have not subscribed, you see that little ticker tape on the bottom? Subscribe. Become a member of the FOC. It's very easy. Friends of the channel, friends of the community. You subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to community members' channels. And come back where everybody knows your name and has fun. So with that, God bless. I love you all. Peace.